two years ago, the Poker Go Cup debuted with a bang as Daniel Negreanu won in stunning fashion. Last year, the hottest player on the tour, Jeremy Osmus, etched his name in history. Today, the race for the 2023 Cup begins. Negreanu, Osmus, and a talented group of high rollers are at the starting line. Game on! Welcome to Las Vegas, the Pokego studio to be exact. My name is Rem Rink and Madani Peters alongside me. Whether you catch us live or on demand, this is the full final table of the 2023 Pokego Cup event number one, 10K No Limit Hold'em. The final table is stacked. It's going to be an epic one. So please sit back, relax, enjoy the show. And if you are a Pokego subscriber, please listen to the real professionals, Jeff Platt and Brent Hanks on the call on the Mothership Station. Let us know in the chat who you're rooting for. And here's a little look at the 2023 Poker Go Cup overview. This is the third edition, of course, Negreanu, Osmus. We saw them all win in the past. And this is the first major of what's going to be a stacked season on the PGT. There's your chip leader, David Peters, from Toledo, Ohio, 35 years old. Whenever he shows up, he seems to make the final table, and he's ready. He's going to do well here in the first event. That, of course, is going to springboard him onto the leaderboard with a chance to win the big cup at the end of the Poker Go Cup. Alex Foxen also at this final table, only 31 years old. This man has been around for quite a while, of course, former GPI player of the year. And last year on the PGT, he finished in sixth place, winning $6.5 million. No big deal, you know, just, just casual $6.5 million. Here's a look at our final table standings. David Peters, as I said, at the top of the count, 77, the big blinds, and all the way down at the bottom. Someone we still have to pay attention to, Mr. Sean Winter, of course, dominating on the PGT last year. Off to a hot stuff here, already gathering some points, and you see all the others there, including some international flair with Orpen Isakcioglu from Turkey and Adrian Mateos from Spain. And there it is, panning to our table inside the Pokego studio in Las Vegas. By the way, if you're in town, please head on down to the studio. Come watch. we got event number two underway as well. Live reporting now active on PGT.com of event number two, which is also a 10K no limit event. And here it is, jumping into the action with Spanish Phenom, I guess Brent Hanks called him the conquistador, Mr. Adrian Mateos. Donnie, thanks for joining me once again for an exciting year on the PGT. This is just event number one of what will be an epic year. Please give the listeners a bit more context as to how big this year is going to be. Massive, enormous, colossus. All the words, all the adjectives. At the end of the year, I think we should start there. Million dollar free roll for the PGT Championship this year. That's what all of these guys are ultimately playing for. Last year, 500K was in that prize pool. This year, we've doubled it down. We are putting a million dollars in that prize pool. We are giving away $1.25 million back to the players through not only that million dollar free roll, but also various championship bonuses. You mentioned that 50K bonus going to the Poker Go Cup champion. We also have a $50,000 player of the year prize this year. That is for the player that tops the leaderboard with the most points. Tons of money up for grabs. Obviously the money that these guys are playing for, of course, but all that added money as well is just great incentive for these guys to grind and grind hard. Jumping straight into a blind battle here, Joseph Chong, former November Niner. Donnie, remember when that was a thing? <coughs> November Nine? It was pretty epic. Joseph Chong. O Octo Nine, remember the Octo was, Nine? Was he the Octo Nine or the November Nine? No, he was November Nine. He was the OG. He was the A7. He was, he was, he was Filippo Condio. He was the third place punto. That was a phenomenal <coughs> hand. Duhamel, of course, the winner of that event. If you are tuning into our stream in real time, please let us know in the chat who you are rooting oh, for today at this final table. And, and let us know who you think is going to be among the top contenders on the no, PGT like this I year. Negrano has already put out there that he's looking for some side action. Um, I've heard that both Kerry Katz and Alex Foxen have already given him some side action on who will finish with the most points. And Negrano, of course, excitedly on our Poker Go Twitter page told us yesterday he's going to play every single event as well as the PLO series and the upcoming mixed game series, Donnie, because we're doing a lot more than just these streamed events. Yeah, so we obviously have our majors. We have this Poker Go Cup. We have the USPO coming up later uh, in the spring. I think that's uh, March or April, maybe. Um, schedule will be out soon. And then we have, obviously, the Poker Masters that comes in the second half of the year. But you mentioned 
the PGT PLO series. That is coming up. We have the PGT Mix Games. First ever time that we're doing um, specific series, just for one, for one just for mixed games, one just for PLO. Usually we know we have a mixed game tournament or a PLO tournament thrown into these schedules. We might stick with the PLO stuff, but um, we'd rather uh, take the mixed games, build out an entire series for all of those players. Um, so the mixed game is coming up uh, February 4th through 11th. And here we see Alex Foxen backing into a pair, which is strong enough to win if this goes to showdown. Just to recap the action, Chong, Chong limped the small blind. Fox submitted 125 to go. Chong made the call. Flop went check, check. On the turn, Chong check called 200K with just king high. And he was right. He was dead on the money there as far as what Foxen was trying to do. But then that three on the river hit. And Donnie, that three, of course, a little bit irrelevant because Foxen might still try to bluff and Chong might still try to hero call. The only difference is that Foxen actually has the best hand now. And there it is. Foxen puts Chong all in and if it hadn't been for that three, Donnie, Chong of course would have had the best hand. However, it doesn't really change the spot, right? No, it doesn't change the spot. I mean, you know, could have changed the spot if a king comes, if a 10 comes, if an eight comes, etc. Um, but in this spot, you know, <laughs> this is quite a hero spot for Chong that he's being put in. You obviously have to f factor in the fact that Sean Winter is on the severe short stack. He came into this final table with seven big blinds. Um, I was wondering how the dynamic was going to play out specific to both Anthony Hu and Joseph Chong because Sean Winter, we've seen him many times over the years get extremely short and never give up, never die. So it really puts added pressure on those people that are like just above him and in this case it was Anthony who I think 19 big blinds to start the day Joseph Chong 18 big blinds to start the day and here you see Alex Floxen applying that pressure leveraging the ICM and Chong gives it up Chong does give it up Donnie in I also don't think quickly that that was just Hollywooding by the way like, right. I think these guys you know like they're really thinking the things through and he was, <laughs> was possibly thinking about like calling that, them. that was the case I think I would have sucked out or I'm traumatized from the last night time bank against Chrissy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here's a look at your final wow. table payouts. 45K guaranteed for yeah. the it, remaining seven players. Good? 18K was the min cash. And among the min cashers, Donnie, Daniel Negreanu <laughs> and Kerry Katz, who <laughs> bet against each other, along with Alex Fox, and all three of them already in the good? money in event number one. And I believe we're playing for $216,000 for the winner. And like I said at the stop at, uh, top of the show, we are with you at this final table on YouTube until there is a winner round. So the free previews start tomorrow, but we will be there every single day with a free preview of the action. If you want to sign up to PokeGo, though, we have a little bit of a discount going on. We do. Of course we do. Um, the promo code is... i got to get it for you. Sorry. Yeah, please. Get it right, Donnie. Get it right. <laughs> The best part is he's going through the text messages between yeah. him and I. Well, because I could have pulled up the website, but whatever, you know. PG Cup 23, so that'll get you twenty dollars off your first year of an annual subscription. So it'll take that ninety nine ninety nine dollar price down to uh, seventy nine ninety nine. Three sixty. Very good deal, especially right now. We talked about everything that's coming up. Obviously, Poker Girl Cup, high stakes poker. Yep. By the way, January twenty fourth, Tuesday, January twenty fourth. That is the season like premiere, I, 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 I might season have, ten might of high stakes poker, and then of course, I if you lock in for a year now, you're going to be locked in for the WSP in the summer, and that's yeah. what it's all about. Shout out to Ryan C. Fort in the chat. He says, how come this Peters guy is always at the final table? That's exactly what I said. Whenever he shows up to the studio, he makes the final table, and it's yeah, it extremely it's impressive. And I believe Jack. he's also been in the top ten of the poker's all-time money list for you know, what feels like ten years now. But yeah, David Peters, Big one bold. of the most accomplished like players on the high roller circuit. And in my opinion, he plays on the volume. One of the, one I mean, of the favorites <laughs> to win the PGT overall this year. It would year. have been very similar to that other hand. <laughs> Shit. I was like, I'm not calling you guys show me a three. I'm just going to be furious. What happened? <laughs> no way. Yeah. If you are in the chat with us here, please let us know where you are watching from. I already see some, <laughs> I like a I see some Russian and some, some uh, Hebrew names in the chat, so I can only imagine that people are with us from all around the world. Uh, I see some support right. for Adrian Mateo, so I'm sure that Spain is well represented. Uh, please let us know where you are tuning in from. Mushroom Peace says, it's not fair for the other players when Adrian Mateos enters a poker tournament. I mean, Adrian Mateos, <laughs> I mean, Adrian Mateos, one of those players that when he turns 40, he has to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. Well, we can go over his resume Five in just a second here. We have probably. Peters raising it up with the ace five off. Yeah. Chong tries, decides to go for it with pocket sevens. 
Nice Jesus. hand. Quickly lays it down. down. We move on. We got a big, we got a big sweat at this last longer. <laughs> This is a nice little hedge by you. Donnie, walking around the field yesterday on day I was one still of this first event. I felt what was your impression of the players that showed up? Did you see any new faces? How many? And you know, what does it tell you about what we can expect for Whoops. the rest of the series? Yeah, I, I thought I saw a lot of new faces uh, for the PGT events, which is great. Really you know, that's agree. what you want to see. That's so funny because all I was um, thinking coming into Hannah, not whole, only a new Poker like Girl Cup, but Chrissy a brand Hannah new Hannah season as this is kicking off the 2023 season. Um, you saw Brian Yoon out there. I haven't seen him too much uh, in the studio. Um, Steven Song coming off his uh, GPI Player of the Year win. He's out there as well battling. Brian Kim was out there. Today we have Andrew Moreno decided to jump into the mix. Um, so, you know, a lot of these players are coming out for the first time. We had some satellite winners as well. That's something that, you know, Paul Campbell and the team at ARIA has really been pushing to do. Get my poker blood pumping a little bit. Not a bad idea. Yeah, I hate like sitting down in the fox and just like immediately like triple all line. Oh no, stop. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna do it. I don't think yeah. I'm gonna do it. Definitely should do something. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it anymore. Walked here. Okay. It's a start. I had a couple of cigarettes. We're open here with a big race and small one, big pressure. Uh, I can't vape anymore. the short I really don't feel like doing it. Oh, oh, it's King just six Donnie, right on the edge. Yeah. I mean, what? We figured yeah, it just help I you mean, to uh, Right on the edge, but he's it's so funny how that's come full circle. It's like, yeah, he knows the pay jumps. He mentioned the last yeah, longer that he, he might be involved in. Smokes. He knows the implications yeah. points yeah, wise. He, <laughs> he knows Orpin's not getting too crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be like sitting here, like, I didn't feel like yeah. 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 <laughs> looking more and more Whereas like Daniel Bryan. They were standing outside, like talking to each other, and I'm like, they look the same, and they're wearing like similar clothes. It's really funny to see. Just a little bio board on Orpin. I don't know. Was, glue. It was like the well done, Donnie. Well done. I've, I've, I've honestly been practicing. Um, you did it very well earlier as well. Um, so we're, we're learning. We're getting better. We're not quite Jeff Platt and Brent Hanks. We're over on Poker Go, but we're doing our our uh, our thing over here. King, King, King's like one on Turkey's <laughs> ultimate money. Ooh, pocket Kings here. I think Orpin's getting some uh, coaching maybe from Nick Definitely Petrangelo. Wow. I mean, they're always kind of together, Jack's hanging out. So I just kind of put two and two together. Nick's a coach for upswing, so you know. Maybe that's happening there. And Orpin certainly has stepped up his game uh, recently, so good for him. Nick Petrangelo is probably so smart that if he would coach me, I would not even <laughs> understand what he's trying to tell me. I'm like, Nick, you got to slow down, man. You got to. I don't know. I, I actually think he might be one of the better coaches in terms of breaking it down to what us normal right. people can understand. Yeah. Sometimes you listen to the guys out there and you're like, hold on. <laughs> I have no idea what words you're saying. Please speak to me like I'm 12. Absolutely. Uh, Anthony here in the house, South Jersey. We've got Jacob from Montana. we got Jimmy. Asking if there's any Finnish Pretty players, haven't seen them, but here? when the okay, PLO series yeah. kicks off, I'm pretty sure no. we'll see all of Finland show up here at the studio. Yeah, massage. Yeah. I'm Jason Toy, watching from Vienna, Austria. <laughs> Great to see everyone in the chat. By the way, we're going to do some giveaways. When we hit 500 likes, I'll give a free a annual subscription to yeah. PokerGo. Uh, awesome. When we hit 1,000 yeah. likes, I'll give <laughs> away another one. So there it is. A little, a little uh, pork chop, as bang, Jason bang. Somerville would say. Two pork chops available here. 500 likes, we'll give away an annual sub, and 1,000 likes we give away a second annual sub. Actually, he's back. Yeah, yeah, Joseph Chung, who picked up a hand for the third yeah, straight time. Down. All of a sudden, Don, he was down to 580. He's back up to 940. Yeah, I mean, this this really puts pressure back on Sean Winter. Obviously, we saw him tank fold that king six. Now getting shorter. And, oh, I mean, I love your style so far. All in. Bang, bang. Hey, Sean. Obviously, a lot of ICM implications. I mean, I was at this final table, we're at any final table, uh, but call the river, I would guess that then. Joseph Chong cares the least about that. that all these lost. He just plays that type of style, which just, I like. What is he playing? Play, I was bluffing with the best hand. Come on. Three straight wins there for Joseph Chong. Al him. Alex Foxen just referenced bluffing with the three. Bluffing oh, with yeah. the best hand. Definitely <laughs> firing there with the best hand. And we'll see probably not as much of that on high stakes. But what we will see is Eric Person, the return of Antonio S. Fandiari. Let's go. Jennifer Tilly, Daniel Legrano, season 10 of High Stakes Bobo coming at you, premiering January 24th. Use code watch 10 to save $20 on your annual subscription weekly new oh, episodes gonna, out we're January 24th. Don't right miss now. it. We'll have some highlights <laughs> as well. This will be a bad YouTube spot to lie after that bet. So yeah. if you just want to watch some of those, feel free to do so. <laughs> but we will have full new episodes out.
and it's pretty exciting. I already got to see some of the footage. Sounds like I would have myself. One, yeah. one hand in particular is gonna Damn. is one I'm hand. Je I'm jealous, I'm man. Come on. I'll, I will. And I will I like tease. That. The that's my favorite. That's my favorite poker show ever. God, I love it. So good. I'll tease one little bit. There's one hand between Eric Person and Jean Robert Ballon. Oh that God. that'll <laughs> blow your mind. <laughs> It'll <laughs> absolutely blow your mind. <coughs> Adrian, you have 1.4. Less no. 1.25. See the chat's asking about Daniel Negreanu. He did cash in this event, came 12th. <laughs> and he's currently playing event number two. He's out there firing, as Remco mentioned earlier. He's firing everything. Is there any way to pitch uh, Foxen's card a little bit more flat, please? Rampage here. Sometimes you lose three straight hands to Alex Fox. Mine, mine chip games. Your hand just, or just move your, move your uh, chips over to the side. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Whatever. All, our <laughs> yeah, all, all the tricks. Instructed the dealer on how to pitch cards. Sean is always. I'm, whatever. Always got I mean, he's just trying to win the honesty bet. Sean Winter, one of the most low key funny people in poker. Zach says, turning on Poker Go on the 85. See y'all later. Wow, nice brag about having the, the liquidity to purchase an 85 inch TV. What? At least I hope it's inches, not centimeters, because that would be a very small TV. <laughs> Unfair. Unfair. Yeah. Mike says, this is boring. Mike, tell, tell us, spice it up. What, what do you want to know? You want to do some QA? You want to shoot us some questions? Yeah, anyway, we got a hand that is brewing here. Anthony. Interesting spot here for Anthony Hugh. Um, oh, obviously, Sean yeah. Winter. This is a short stack. He was going to do it and move all in. Forward. Likely yeah, very aware thing. that David Peters with the chip lead is opening pretty wide in late position and attacking at least two shorter stacks behind him. Going back to last year, I think we saw a lot of short stack final tables because of the play leading up to the final table. Not the case last night, and we got quite a lot of play left here today at this final table, so I think we're in for quite a, a tense battle as we see Chung chipping up, as we see Hugh chipping up. The only one who has been able to get anything going is Sean Winter. I think they played till 1 a.m. last night and then cut it off. Oh, okay. This would, that's why we have seven left instead of six. Anthony Hugh, Poker Pro, living in Las Vegas, 24th on Minnesota's all-time money list. What? Graduated from New York University I and I a final got owned by Donnie Half Peters. <laughs> it's not a, why is it not on, on the is, little that bio? Is true. Played, that that is very true. Yeah, I know. Yeah. In the okay. w, or the, yeah, the Win WPT World Championship, I uh, got him pretty good. Bit of a cooler. He had top two, I had bottom set, so you know what he did. Top top. But, uh, but I did uh, I did the little bet flop bet turn checky check on the river. Wow. And he you went with the over bet shove <laughs> and I said call. I, I, wow. I, I call. barely played in Europe. <laughs> so you played like a set. There. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love to see it. Uh, Donnie I had saw him over betting yeah. sometimes with yeah. like I mean he like with like a king there. Uh, he had top pair of King Queen, but I also didn't know if he recognized me from the studio, right. and if he would say, "This is just the media guy. I'm gonna go crazy, like you know, try and bluff him off a hand," you know. So, so yeah. And go. then yesterday, he, I was reporting a hand. He looks up at the table and he goes, "You're the guy who showered me at the win." <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Well, amazing. I didn't shower you. You still had chips left." But yeah, right. That's amazing. Uh, for those unfamiliar, like 1.1. One one, right? uh, Donnie and I had a long a emotional less. conversation yes. last year where I said, Donnie, if you want to be the analyst on this broadcast, you have to step it up. You have to start playing 10Ks. And uh, there you go. Donnie Peters mm -hmm. now a regular. And uh, the only reason he's not in this event is because he has to do commentary. That's right. This is going to be a tough spot for for who should uh, should Fox and 3-bet. Yeah, I was, I was looking at Mateos' stack to see mm -hmm. if he would just rip it here. But... Where play? One point one. Oh wow! Oh, jeez. Hello. <laughs> okay. <coughs> so Donnie, sizing wise, and, and also stack sizing wise, wh what's what's Mateus considering here? Because you know we haven't really seen any three bets like this given given the spot right here. I mean, this is a really tough spot for Adrian Mateus because he's going up against someone like Alex Foxen who has more chips than him. I mean, Alex Foxen is aggressive, right? And he could certainly be attacking, but three bets out of the small blind, I would say tend to lean stronger than weaker. Mateos obviously running through any ICM implications here. I, do, I think also Mateos is probably thinking that, you know, although who won that last pot, he's pro given his stack, he's probably not opening too light himself. 
Wow, what a disciplined That's fall a by Adrian Mateos. Fold, yes. 2.4. Action back on Who. Oh, it's just a tough spot for Who. One thing that's worth considering here is that Who, with Mateo's tanking, Who could possibly be thinking that some of his outs might be dead or some of his cards might be dead if, you know, Mateo's has, like, an ace-queen suited, an ace-king, something like that. Do you think Mateo's is all in fairly often if Sean Winter wasn't in the in <laughs> at the table right now? All in. Oh, there it is. Who oh. <laughs> all in? Foxen with the snap the call, and we got our first all in a call at the final table of Poker Go Cup event. I like how one. you were like 95% to shove. Kind of looks up at the sky and then you like just changed your mind. Are you kidding me? You're like, I'm for sure shoving this. You almost shoved before a time bang. I actually had the same thought. Is that like what you were shoving bang? before? You yeah, almost shoved before your time extension. Same then man. you just faltered. So Mateos. Did you have the pair or an ace? Fox and asking if it was nines. Mine. <laughs> Mateos with the raised eyebrows. Let's look at the flop here as Who is at risk for his tournament life. Oh, King Jack 3 rolls oh, off the deck. Now. Four outs now as oh, two Who outs. can make Broadway. Oh, but there's two. There's two we know yeah, Mateos yeah, yeah. folded two yeah. of those tens. Yeah, we do <laughs> actually. See, that's that's my automatic brain going <laughs> sure to the uh, the total outs and not the cards and fours that are dead. So two outs only for Anthony Hu to stay alive. He needs one of the remaining two tens in the deck to stay in the tournament, or else Alex Foxen will take the chip lead in this event, or at least tie what is it gonna be? David Peters. Seven. Let's Ten. see the river card. Nine of diamonds close, but not enough. Anthony Hu, first player eliminated from this final table, and Sean Winter happily collecting the extra dollars and the extra points for that PGT leaderboard. 45K goes Anthony Hughes' way, and he's surely and on some his way to stage the rest of the program number two. Oh, was that your last one? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Overall. <laughs> Me too. Just I need some time. Oh, you made a set? Table. Yeah. Poker Three? Mine. Set of three? <laughs> set of three. Set of three. Yeah. Nice block. We're down to the final six. Like I oh, mentioned before, man. we are we streaming well, on YouTube you for free eight. until there is a Hold winner on. today. Yeah. Please let us know who you're rooting for. And like I said, first giveaway at 500 likes. Giveaway a free annual subscription to Poker Go, meaning you can catch the entire upcoming season of High Stakes Poker starting on January 24th, a brand new season, along with all our upcoming tournaments, U.S. Poker Open coming up, hopefully some Stairway to Millions action, and of course, <coughs> the World Series of Poker in the summer. Bit of a bit of a gift there for Mr. Winter. Yeah, huh? you definitely. Know, just sitting on the six bigs, just getting on that pay jump. 940. Well, here goes Joseph Chung. Joseph Chung don't care. How much? 940. Open Thank. real decision, potentially. Yeah, I think this is, decision is, is, is becomes more interesting because it's Joseph Chung. Specifically. I was just going to say, is this purely him looking at the math as far as you know the ranges go or are you also taking into account your your opponent specifically i think definitely taking into your account your what would opponent. you do what would you do with ace nine suited there ace nine suited yeah what would you do <laughs> there <laughs> there what would you do well Sean, if i made a no. 350 he would have yeah, what would you do here you you told me yesterday oh ace nine suited uh. <laughs> that's what i'm saying what would you do Oh you're, oh, you're laughing at me like I'm, my money being instantly or? Funny thing know. being that Sean Winter is pretty close. Yeah, I, I want to say he was referencing the hand that Orpin had against Lucky Chewy and Super High Roller Bowl when, when Orpin had Ace-9 suited. Oh, could be. And in the blind versus blind. I think that was on the bubble. Here's a look at event number two. Day one underway. Mr. Negrano talking to Anthony Hu about uh, probably about what just happened. I guess, but it's not even a pair. <laughs> I called her with AC. <laughs> Daniel doing the uh, friendly banter there, giving him some crap for putting it in with the ace queen. That's why I look at Negrano's table mates. Wow, famed international music sensation <laughs> Jeremy Osmus at the table here. Of course, these are the two earlier. See? Reppin' PGT, that's what's up. That's Poker right. Go Tour, huh? Athletes over here. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, that's right. Athletes oh, indeed. I've, uh, I've, I've played plenty of soccer with Negranu. 
Not so sure I'd call him an athlete. <laughs> <laughs> <That's so scary. laughs> just kidding, Daniel. Scary just kidding. My world. <laughs> That's amazing. Daniel's actually very good at, at, at soccer. He, he certainly understands the indoor game because he understands hockey so well. Very similar sports. For those asking in the chat, where are we streaming from? This is from the Pokéco Studio in Las Vegas. If you are in Las Vegas, feel free to, to jump in. Saw quite a few fans, Donnie, yesterday on, uh, oh, yeah. on a, during event number one asking for pictures and autographs. Um, I no saw, obviously, pictures with Negranu, but I also saw pictures with Adrian Mateos. Mm -hmm. Love that. A couple fans were I like, can that. I get a photo with you, Adrian? I love that. The crusher. What did you start with? Eight, nine? One. A little remote. Joseph Chong gets oh, a geez. hand every other hand. Uh oh, here we go. So Joseph Chong currently has won four hands at this final table. It's the most of any player so far. Sean Winter here looking down at Big Slick. About 300 straight. Of the suited kind. <laughs> he makes it 300 straight, and David Peters what, can't help but laugh. What do you have behind? 300,000. <laughs> 90, 90 behind. I mean, 90K behind. Not much. <laughs> 90. <laughs> I'm all in. All in. All in, Joseph Chong. Sean Winter makes the call. We do not. A real classic, GL, traditional GL. point flip. Donnie, if you're ever all in in a tournament, oh, do you Thank want you. the small pair or the ace king? The ace king. Are you ace king guy? Yeah, yeah. Let, let us know in the chat. Do you <laughs> want the small like pair or do you want the ace king? Uh, Being an ace king, king guy, especially suited. How you I don't know. How you feel about this though? You're seven. You usually feel about this. Do you feel like you're gonna get there? You've been doing pretty well. Wow, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Deuce, 9, 10, no, all spades. A lot of help right, here. Was it Chong. 390? Joseph and Chong looking for running cards. <laughs> seven of diamond, or seven. Nine, nine. Seven is, I don't know. Come on, give him a threat. Any seven will do. Oh, oh, there you go. That's Ooh. sweat. Look how good you are. You know? oh. for you any sweat. You yourself on the flop. That was your, seven that was your problem. Deuce of hearts. You doubted yourself on the flop. I have a lot of doubts against you. <laughs> One in particular. That, that, that's a scary turn for me. <laughs> <laughs> River card. Three oh. clubs. Okay. That's not going to do it. I'm getting some flack here from producer Aiden saying uh, that I shouldn't three, be calling nine, sevens yeah, a small pair. A middle pair. I don't know. Sevens. I think that's sevens why I is, the, the, is, the, the, cut is the top of the small. The biggest small pair. And then eights. Oh. Eights through tens. That was funny. Middle pair. Jacks plus or. He didn't take it. Pair. He didn't take it though. Do you play, right? do you no. play pocket jacks? What a fish. Still gone the whole tournament without it's using the flop. Depending on the situation. I must be. Uh, Sean Winter's resume. I think you have. <laughs> poker master champion. U.S. Poker Open champion. No, I saw him versus Kerry. Oh, that's right. Check, 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 check. <laughs> check down and fold the one big blind on the record. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we got here. I want to know when the wine's coming out, Mr. Winter. Yeah. He had a bottle yesterday. Beautiful. Um, let's see. We got about an even <laughs> split exactly between the pairs and the big cards. Check, meaning check, that check. That one even in the chat, it's a coin flip. <laughs> Box in here with Queen Jack of Diamonds coming into the race. DSG on YouTube says Adrian Mateos. Reyu Jugador Favorito del Torneo Vamos Amadi. You know what I just realized? YouTube chat needs a translate button. I mean, that's every social media has one. I'm pretty except sure that, for YouTube. I'm pretty sure that means that he's rooting for Adrian Mateos. Vamos. Vamos is definitely the best, <laughs> the best expression of, of excitement in the world. Remember the Vuhu Zayla? Oh my god, don't even get me started. <laughs> we lost the World Cup final because of that, probably. <laughs> yeah, the remember one. they brought him to the WSOP? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Brazilian. 2010. That was, that was quite a mess. Vamos just made me think about See? the Brazilians. Yeah. There you go. We got lots of Spaniards in the towers of Alex. So I should move these so that you can't see the pitch? I'm not looking. <coughs> Alex Foxen was telling. Our own Brent oh, yeah, Hanks yesterday probably, that yeah. he missed a golden opportunity. That's why Sam does Brent it. Brent delivered Foxen a Queen 4 helmet late. shirt that is available in the Poker Girl shop. Oh, that's why? Foxen was originally given one and it was way too small know. for him to get into. <laughs> I can't think of a lot of other So he gave him a size that he fit into. And Foxen was saying how he <laughs> missed a golden opportunity to just absolutely blast Helmuth when he did that with the Queen 4 because that's what Helmuth does to everyone else. Exactly right. <laughs> that was the one disappointing part about that hand. Because. 
So, I mean, you can, you can say all you will about Eric Person and his style and his persona, but what I enjoyed about the Eric Person Phil Hummel, like literal showdown uh, in the PGT Heads Up showdown last year, and you can watch that whole match on our YouTube channel, oh, is that Eric Person was treating Helmut the way Helmut treats others. And of course, he went a little further with the flip of the bird, like the throwing the double birds at him and everything. But still, I really enjoyed seeing Helmut that uncomfortable. Now, I'm not saying that we should be you know, using you know, profanities at the poker table, but it was really funny to watch to see Helmut uh, on the receiving end of that kind of treatment. I like the uh, I like the little dressed up set with these nice walls on the outside. Bring that idea over from the PGT Championship. All class, baby. Great. All class. I like seeing David Peters finally out for a 10K. Yeah. New year, guys just finally firing the 10Ks. Used to only come for the 50s. 550. It could mean one of two things. He's broke. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Needs money. <laughs> or or he has his eyes set on the PGT. Yeah. I, I doubt he's broke. <laughs> I bet it's the latter. Meanwhile, Joseph Chong picks up his fifth win at this table. He's fifth win, but still down chips. Still down chips. <laughs> um, one of the few top pros who actually graduated from college, UC San Diego, psychology, math, and economics. 50th on the all-time money list. He was prior to uh, all the high rollers becoming you know, normal year after year. Uh, I believe he was pretty close to the top 15 yeah. after he made the main event final table back in 20, 2009. Was it nine? No, 12. It was 12 because it was J Duhamel year. Please. Is there a better blend of studies than psychology, math, and economics to be then become a poker player? No, there's not. I mean, that's, that's, like the, that's like the perfect, that is the perfect, the perfect trio. Yep. <coughs> 120, Action on Foxen, who raises the button with King Jack off. <laughs> Remind everyone that if you smash that like button, you might give yourself a chance to win an annual PokerGo subscription. Once we hit 500 likes on the video, we will give away a free annual sub. Doesn't matter where you are from. That prize is available globally. Please smash it. Wow, I'm getting corrected in the chat. It says Mul William Willem Mul Muller says Duhamel won in 2010. There That's you go. Right. I'm way off on my ears. 12 was Merson, of course. P.S. Hines in 11. Brian Reese in 13. I'm trying to just, just remember all these. P.S. P.S. Hines. Orpin makes the call of five or four yeah, off. Can you touch your palm to the ground? No. I'm not that flexible. But Justin Young has us both. Flexibility. Kuhn is insane. He's an Indian brown, he says. Greetings yeah, yeah. from Gelsenkirchen, huh? Germany. He's like, they're like thick. I know what it is. Those sprinters are really flexible. Or whatever you call them. Shoey can like put his head on the ground. Yeah, I know. Like this way. <laughs> yeah. OPW says I hit it so hard, bro. As far as the uh, like button goes. Another one for Fox and is up to 3.9 million chips. 65 big blinds. Chong, the short stack now, 11 bigs. Winter with 15, Mateos with 16. So still anyone's game. One double up away from being back in serious contention. $216,000 up for grabs here in that number one. And if you want to follow along with the PGT all year round, all you have to do is just turn PGT.com into your homepage. Do people still do homepages? I'm not even sure that's a thing anymore. It used to be a big deal. Like, what's your homepage? Anyway, event number yeah, two is now underway. Deal. And uh, we have live reporting on our website of every single event. So you can follow day one on our live reporting page. And then you can watch the stream every day as well. Every, every, I guess, every consecutive day. I would also suggest that people head on over to play.pgt.com to play along with these events. We are giving for this Poker Girl Cup $250 in gift cards to the Poker Girl Shop away nice. across various contests. Contests running every single day of the Poker Girl Cup. It's free to play. Play.pgt.com. Head on over there. Just a bunch of pick em contests for stuff that's going on tournaments, the final tables, etc. Wow, here we go. Ace, king, and queens. <laughs> Peters steps into it, as they say, raising it up with king seven suited. I don't think we're going to see Adrian Mateos fold this one. All in. All in for Mateos. 965. 965. Peters is probably 
going to toss this as fast as he possibly can. Oh, oh. Action back on Alex Fox, and who snaps it off. And we got a huge oh. coin flip. What is it? Ace -king two million chips, right? You think I'm going to win? <coughs> no, yeah, two million chips. 2.2. Two. They're going to win? Some you extra think money so? in there because Peters yeah, did open. Folded, didn't you? I think it's five of spades. Oh. There were two aces five that were folded. <laughs> And there was one king that was folded. So, wow. I had a king. Also. Say, I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna rip it in on you. I was gonna rip it in on you, Fox. King and diamond. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe a king. king. Kind of yeah. Oh my god. I had an ace as well. <laughs> he had an ace. I had an ace. <laughs> both had a king. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm sure drawing dead. Sure <laughs> oh, here comes the flop. Let's see if Alex Fox is drawing dead. Well, the flop doesn't bring what uh, he was looking for. As we see, eight deuce, nine roll off the deck. You, you see six outs really at the top kings? of the page, yeah. but it's more okay, like three at this ace. point. Three is what? One, uh, two outs. One, two outs. Yeah. That's really a bad one. Three of diamonds. Mateo still in great shape <laughs> to double up. Only 14% for Fox. We're all probably lying. No, no, I had it. I had it. Said, yeah. River card, six of hearts. It's the tough to win that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah apparently. <laughs> Hey, you want to play? Only two force here yeah. at the oh, spot yeah. table. Uh, good fold with those threes, Adrian. What? Good fold with the threes. Over two million yeah. now for Mateo. So Lucky threes. Excellent <laughs> position, being on the direct left <coughs> of Alex Boxen. Circling back to what you said earlier, play. Is it play.pgt.com? That's right. right. I dropped it in the chat. Free contest, real prizes. Play.pgt.com. Meanwhile, we have 46 players I've ever been in into the event number <laughs> two. Is pretty I wonder what your equity is. Quite a bit in this event. Pretty easy to figure out. I think it's 20%. Kristen Foxen. Give or take. Making her debut. Uh, I guess she got uh, things cleared probably, up in terms uh, I guess of the Canadian tax situation. Oh, yeah. Probably so she is going to be diving in. She was going to play yesterday, but she had a massage, Alex yeah, said. Oh, she didn't want to miss the massage. No, so no, she no, got all nice and relaxed and ready to go for today. and a half. If you don't know Kristen Foxen, crusher. Yeah. The artist, multiple bracelets. No, because it's not the a, artist formerly known as Chris exactly Mill. That is right. Forty-six. Uh, former Supernova Elite online. I mean, yeah. she's an extremely good player. So, some of that. six p.m. every day. We ran two before the series, and then during the series, as the studio clears out, as tables break, some tables will open up. We'll run some satellites for the next day's event. So that's going on. So yeah, a lot of stuff happening on the PGT. That's for sure. Just to pick out a few names of the players doing well so far on day one of event number two. We have Michael Rosito at the top of the counts. Andrew Moreno in the house. Seven fifty. What do you have? Been crushing Six the last okay, events the last few years. We've got Adam Hendricks. Andrew Moreno finally making it into the studio. Yeah. Let's go. You've been complaining about that for a long time. Like, why aren't you playing here? I he popped into the studio at some point last year, I think in the early part of last year, it was just meeting a friend or whatever. And I asked him, you know, when, when are you going to finally be in here? He said that eventually he'll be in here, you know, wants to continue to work on his game, get a little bit better. I, I think taking the step from playing outside of the studio, even if you are playing yeah. 10K events outside That's of the studio, which, which Andy is. Moreno does, I mean, obviously he won the millions. <laughs> the Orpins. plays a lot of other, other 10K events around the world, but playing the ones in the studio, a little bit of a higher caliber player. Um, so you want to just make sure that your game is on point. Are you raise folding? But then on a, on a podcast, <laughs> I heard Johnny yeah, yeah. yeah. mm -hmm. Moreno, a.k.a. Johnny Vibes, say that be hard to fucking his brother raise. probably oh, wouldn't take so many shots in these high rollers because of the variance factor in, in a tougher mm -hmm. field. Mm -hmm. So it's good to see him here battling. We'll see how he does, how many events he plays. Have average right. stack current at the final table, 30 big blinds. Pretty Chomp, deep, man. Short stack. And here, once again, the reminder, the reminder brought to you by Phil Ivy and Daniel Medrano. <laughs> Play.pgt.com. You forget his name. Free poker pick em contest with real prizes. Go check it out. <laughs> We're going to be doing those contests pretty Pulvers. much all year round. Anytime yeah. we have a big <laughs> series, we'll maybe try and do some stuff during the World Series of Poker as well. So <laughs> you guys can just, uh, you can have pgt.com as your so homepage and then you flat. can bookmark play.pgt.com. I think we'll use bookmarks. I have done three a million bookmarks. You told me that yourself. Yeah. <clears throat> Easy one from Fox in here, getting a walk. All these players, no matter how long the final table takes, will get a chance to enter in, into event number two. It's the 
final table exception. Of course, the player collecting the most points at the end of the Bokuto Cup gets the big cup. Mm. It's a big one. It's a heavy one. Action on or green jack off. Five fifty. All in from Joseph Chong. Ace Jack offsuit. Only has to get through the blinds. And Mateo's looking down at Queen Ten suited. Given the size of Chong's stack, Donnie, this is, uh, this is a real decision here for Mateo's. Yeah, real decision here. I think it's close. Broadways are so live. Did you have it? Or did you block it? I wonder. The best in the world. Your break after at hand reading. No, no, more level. Okay. You want to look up if your sevens was a call? First me. Me. I knew the fold. Only receive. Last year on the Poker Go Tour, no wins but five caches for Joe Chong. Collected nearly 900k. Not a bad year. Not at all. I'd take 900k. Yeah. I mean, those binds do add up after a <laughs> while. <laughs> I always find the blind battles mm. so fascinating when the stacks get a little bit shallower, seeing how these players approach. Raising from the blinds. Mateos here with nine dues suited. Goes in for How many raise. entries? Forty-six? Oh. Or forty-five, it's hard to see. That's so much yesterday. Pretty I guess we're missing six years. Yeah, yeah, it's almost the exact same. I guess some people here was maybe David wasn't on time, so it's like one less. Yeah. Hey Alex Foxen, how are you? <laughs> Or pass queen nine off, Donnie. What, what do you think he's he's considering here? I think he's considering all options. <coughs> Played twelve <coughs> holes. You have Played or, if Corpin is uh, forty-three, but I had a his triple and a double. Game, he could certainly just call here and use the position. Basically, the only two bad holes I had. Mateos. I drove it. My game was like opposite. I actually drove it well. I just couldn't hit irons. I mean, weird. not terrible, but not like I usually do. Or, or burned a time You've gotten that there. much better? But we are going to see a flop. 43 would have been like your lifetime best round last time I played with you. I, I probably would have, I probably would have shot like mid 80s. Are you, are you breaking 90 like consistently now? I'm curious how Mateos will approach this one. Every because. other round, like, but I usually shoot low 90s. It doesn't have really if anything I on that break, board. If I'm over doesn't 90. even have a backdoor flush draw. Is there, is there, and is given Orpin, I mean, yeah. Are there, are there many cases like this where you just basically just give up, given the fact that you might see Orpin as a more conservative player? In this yeah, I think this, this specific situation against this opponent, you know, I, I don't think Orpin is getting too crazy with calling pretty wide pre-flop. So when I just whiff a flop like this, if I'm Mateos, it's probably fine to just shut down. Right. So does, does or, I mean, may, or maybe he just checks, he hopes Orban checks behind and he can steal it on a later street, but right now, I think Herod if, you're, if you're Mateo's spot there, are you there just looking for at least, you know, like one diamond or even like a deuce or, you know, some kind of maybe, you know, three oh. to a straight to give yourself at least, you know, some backdoor outs before you start continuation betting? Yeah, you or a board that you think team. can people without. favor your range versus your opponent's? I think, it's, yeah, I think it's people without. Oh, okay. favor your opponent's yeah. range? Yeah. You know, it's not necessarily that it has to favor your hand, but if you put 
Orpin on the type of player that's playing a certain kind of range. You know, if they poker comes out and doesn't have any idea of what you think Orpin is playing, then you can just bet you the the hair club. I'm saying is it for people with hair or without hair? In Orbit's situation, well, it's a way for people a without hair to join the hair. Fire a small bet, given that the you know, Tails has shown we can stop two streets in the road. If Tails had any hair. sort of it makes more sense. nice long flowing hair, you would probably yeah. bet at least. Most people with hair don't streets. really hang out with yeah. people yeah. who don't um, have hair. I think it would have been True. good there for Orbit <laughs> to fire that turn. Um, I think checking back the flop is just fine. You think, you know? Yeah. Orbit does just give it up, though. You know, beard club. It's not for me. People that can't grow beards. Deuce. He's got a deuce. <laughs> deuce is the winner here as this hand gets checked down. I would have been really interested to see what Orphan would have done. A lot of people I didn't see us here. Flop. So it's kind of weird. Well, I think well, that, that like you a lot could of certainly make cases for Orphan to call even with right. just Queen High. Oh, that's true. Played yesterday. That's when I, I watched like, poker at home. I, there were like seven. These guys are in the tank. I was trying to yell out what I think they're going to do. And Fold! <laughs> call! All in! Well, I tr I'm trying to, like, you know, guess or estimate bet sizes and There's always, trying to so figure weird. out. I feel like this you know, always happens. Every get single into one their head. The first one's like, but then like, when I rock up to my local night <laughs> tournament, I just, just get all the around. things that I've learned. I'm fortunate that uh, the two seats last night were oh. Dylan and John. Oh, were they? I yeah. Didn't know. yeah that's dumb. They max and one. David Peters, ace to suit it. Raising it up. There was another one, a second satellite. Dude, right? Only one last night, but they had yeah. two for the first event. Brutal when the two. Monday, Tuesday. Oh, okay. Four. What, wait, who won the late one? The last night? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Dylan, Dylan Desfile and John. <laughs> oh, okay. Someone just brought us a whole oh, bunch of snacks, that. and Donnie and I are both okay, trying to be healthy. I mean, if we someone, both yeah, were eating a snack, though, the that would have been, been a wash. That doesn't matter. Donnie and I have a no snacks bet for the Poker Go Cup. Tuesday, Ethan. And shows off one seeds. Winter giving it up, oh, showing really? a lot of discipline. We saw him not too long ago, a couple hands with full feet. Ace three suited, pre flop. So he's going to give up the ace nine offsuit here. Uh, oh, Jorge no, Alvarez anyway, asking uh, in the chat anyone knows if I can watch these games in person oh. at the studio? <laughs> you can definitely just, stop by, hang out at the bar, and you know, say hi to some <laughs> of the players yeah. on break. Um, I would say that watching rule. the final you play table satellite, is yeah, you can't really play fun the main event. when you're at the bar here because we have it on the big screen. No, or if you, you played it last year, you can't uh, play the satellite. Jeff Platt and Brent Hanks that on too. the commentary uh, while you're here. Order yourself a drink. Come hang out. Always a good time. Kind of hard to put that rule in. Because <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I might actually not play unless I like satellite in certain events. Yeah, yeah. Sean Winter. Well, yeah, that's right. A little over 10 that's bigs. who it's designed for. Then. Yeah. I guess so. Always looks tense in his face as soon as he has a decision, but at least he's... <laughs> at least he always does it. Mm -hmm. It's not like he looks relaxed when he finds aces. <laughs> Four. One. For people in the chat. Once we hit 500 likes, we're going to do our first giveaway. We're going to win a free annual subscription to Poker Go. You five back? Or this is five. Oh, okay. Yeah. Five fifty. Six forty, I guess. <laughs> This is more like it for winter. Feels like it's likely to see a, a raise here. 650, you said total? 640. Okay. Total. Good, good little thing to figure out there. Winter has John covered. 250. 250,000. What are you guys drinking and snacking on at home? I'm just going to torture myself by <laughs> reading the responses, but. Uh, I see some people already chiming in with the fact that they are having snacks. Someone finally wins a hand at this final table. Do a little dancer with his background music. Here's, here's a look at the first recorded live caches of the players at the final table. Going all the way back to 2006, David Peters, seven in an event for 56K. Joe Chong in 2009, that's the first time we've seen. 
And, you know, Donnie, we can say about all these players, they've been around. They've been around the block. Like, it is not it is not common to see a final table like this where the most recent cash was, you know, 2018, 2019. You know, it's all established, established pros, and then every year, maybe three or four new names establish themselves. Yeah, I mean, it really, really is incredible to to think about the staying power of a lot of these guys. I mean, David Peters, for example. I, mean, I remember when he was grinding every $500 and $1,100 yeah. tournament back in the day. I mean, every single one you would find him at around the, the tournament circuit. And now he's here 10Ks, 25Ks, 50Ks, you know, 300K super high rolls, all that sort of stuff. I mean, it's just. She brought it for just anyone. So if you want it, you can have water. more water. Yeah. Thank you. Set some down from the Always fun to see the two big stacks going at it. Fox and calling from the big blind with 10 8 suited. Flops really well. Flush draw and a gut shot. Peter still looking high. Given the nature of this flop, Donnie, how do you, how do you think? I think Peters it's tough for Peters to continue here. Um, there he goes, obviously. <laughs> well, it's, it's the double reverse. He goes with a very small sizing. Quarter pot. We obviously know Alex Hawkson is not folding. Oh boy. We got all the snacks in the chat. Sort of driving me nuts. <laughs> Foxen does make the call. Wow, eight of the turn makes it even more interesting. Peter's now sure. with the best hand because of his kicker, but Foxen still with all the outs. Because of this added showdown value, Donnie, do you think it's more likely that Peter's checks behind him? I, mean, I didn't think he would bet the flop. I don't think he would now bet here. That said, he's probably going to bet, <laughs> because usually what I say, they do the opposite. But as you said, he does pick up some showdown value. You know, a hand like 10-9 comes in. Toxin could easily be playing, you know, a one-pair hand like a jack. And there it is. King of spades on the river, also giving Peters two pair. Completing potential straight draw as well. Very. I'm not sure how Foxen would play in ace 10 here um, if he would have three bet Peters free flop. That said, I would lean that he would have, so Peters is more likely to rule that out. Which means, you know, I guess the really only hand that he's worried about right now is the 10 9. Foxen, of course, considering leaving here on the river. <laughs> Is, is that also because he's going to see a lot of checks behind no matter what, and he's still going to get get some credit for a bluff if he just has to leave on this river? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think sizing is is going to be an interesting thing. I wouldn't. 270? 270,000. Given the strength of Peter's hand, is this a, a real decision, or is it pretty easy to give up? I think it's just a guessing game. I mean, he's got to decide <laughs> just in between this box is going to be bluffing here, is he going to be value betting? And it's kind of a flip. Well, and he happens to lose Careful this when you're uh, feeling your cards. I saw one of your cards pre flop. Me? <laughs> I have no idea if Winter's telling the truth or not. Sean Winter <laughs> is <laughs> like literally <laughs> across this giant table <laughs> claiming that he saw Alex Fox's cards. <laughs> Let's go back to the snacks here for a second. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys are having some great food. Some pasta, charcuterie. Drew O'Connell, where are you based? You're having charcuterie on a Thursday afternoon? What, living the dream, my friend. Cashews and milk. That's a combo. Subway cookies. Just All right, cashew milk. Stuart, Stuart is having Subway cookies. Stuart, step up your cookie game. Find your local bakery. I don't know. No, Subway cookies, though. Get out of here. Don't support the, Subway. The su 
Yeah, listen, I'm not going to support Subway, but I'm saying if you're going to get something at Subway, I think the cookies are probably number one. Oh, okay. Like way ahead of the subs. <laughs> this, it's not even close. And I know people that go to Subway just to get the cookies. Damn. I'll go out of my way. To, I'm going to get some Subway. I'm going to go get some Subway cookies. <laughs> And put them in like a not a dog show in the middle a of box like, like a crumble box right and give them to you and you're oh. gonna rave about that oh and then hey. I'll be like yeah I got them at Subway they were a dollar each <laughs> I don't I'm not gonna say that they that I, I'm not saying that I wouldn't like the cookies I'm just saying that I wouldn't want to buy cookies from Subway I'm also a huge sucker for local bakeries public public us in Las Vegas by the way has the best cookies period meanwhile poker action going on. Joe Chong, all in for 550k. David Peters with a real decision here. Queen 8 suited. Already stuck 120k in there. Don't be too surprised to see Peters call here. Chong all in for only 9 big blinds. He's got a hand that has the right amount of equity against the hand like Chong has, and he's going to see that. And here it is. All in showdown here. Joseph Chong's tournament life on the line, but 60-40. You know, he's ahead here with ace check suited. Chong's been involved in many hands here at this final table, but he's going to need to double up at some point to stay relevant. And here is the flop. Ace, King, 9. Exactly what the doctor ordered for Joseph Chong, who picks up top pair. And David Peters down to running cards. Turn card. Jack of hearts. That's one of them. Chong makes two pair, but Peters now with the Broadway draw. Can he catch a 10 to send Chong to the rail or, or else? The former November Niner will double up. River card. Queen of spades. Peters makes a pair. It's not enough. Joseph Chong doubles up. 1.25 million. And all of a sudden, the field is starting to tighten up a little bit. Yeah, back-to-back -back losses there for Peters. Taking some hits to his stack. Alex Foxen now the clear chip leader as Peters is much closer in the ranks to Adrian Mateos. Rudy says, I'm about to order DoorDash. What should I get? I mean, Possibilities are endless with DoorDash. <laughs> According to Donnie, you should just get a dozen Subway <laughs> cookies. Um, I'm a big sandwich guy, Rudy. Pick like a new sandwich place near you and get a sandwich, whatever you want on it. Good idea. Kyle's having a beer. Stacy's having cherry pie. I'm jealous. Java asked if this is the tourney that Fox knocked out Rampage yesterday. Yes, it is. Fox and I think when he knocked out Rampage, had the chip lead in the tournament. Ultimately rode that to this final table, came into the day second in chips behind only David Peters. And now Alex Foxen is back on top. It's a pretty sizable chip lead of You're over like a million. 2.2 Joseph Chung doubling up on that last hand makes Sean Winter the short stack once again. But Winter's a fighter, man. That, that guy's. Give that guy two big blinds, he'll be here forever. <laughs> Mateos, eight, six off on the small blind. Moves all in against Orpin's big blind. Orpin gives it up with the three dudes. Jimmy Bluffett is right. Shout out Jimmy Bluffett. Thank you for joining us once again, sir. Jimmy Bluffett said he goes to McDonald's for their cookies. Just want to let you know, Remco. But Jimmy Bluffett also said that we were at 307 likes and the giveaway is triggered at 500 likes. There it is. That means like the video, people. Let's go. 500 likes. Remco is going to be giving away some stuff. I mean, Make it happen. Some it's, stuff. it's all up to you guys. To be very specific, we're giving away a poker gross up. Exactly. An annual subscription. Corey Moe said he's done his part, of course. That's right. Thank you, Corey. Now, if everyone else could just like the video, that would be great. <coughs> Billy Torme said he goes to the dispensary for his cookies. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. Yeah, that's, that's good, Billy. Really. I, like I like it. Those are the, uh, the type of cookies you have, How much do you have on a Friday afternoon after coming home from work. And you've got nothing else going on. That is that is the dream, though. That is, that is beautiful. 
Foxen and Winter here battling with tens. One has an ace, one has a king go along with it. Foxen raising it up. Winter putting together what looks like a a committing a committing raise, Donnie. Well, yeah, but uh, <laughs> oh wow. He's making sure he has one Sean, big blind act left. like you've been here before. <laughs> like Foxen can't even hold a straight face. Saw suspect three 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 saying that the big blind ante seems unfair because it's two big blinds. Yes, I throw it in. but you don't pay an ante I threw it in. the other time, so you just make up for it by paying it one time. It speeds the game up, moves things along quicker. You're basically paying the same amount every round, whether you're entering ante normal or paying just from the big blind once in orbit. Seven, seven, five. Yeah. Fox is considering what? just seven. seven whether he wants seven, to seven, five. 11 big blinds to go to showdown here as Winter only has one big blind left behind. What? Why? Yeah. I think it's missed on that. Fox does give it up. Sean Winter now, also above a million in chips, and all of a sudden, Orpen is our short stack. Here's a look at the wonderful Aria Resort and Casino, reminding you that we have a kickoff sale of 2023 in our PokeGo shop. Check it out right now, shop.pokego.com. We have new ETT items in the store, and a 30% off sale through January 20th. Don't miss out on all that sick merch that we have in the shop. And I will say, I'm a big time hoodie guy. They're very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. Run a little baggy, I want to say. Yeah, new season of the PGT, trying to celebrate this new season by a nice sale for you guys <gasps> on the PGT merch. So if you want to support the tour, if you are a fan, get on in there and get some stuff. Here's I'm, wear, I'm, wearing, I'm wearing a jacket right now. Exactly. PGT, that's a, that's a nice one. Let's go. Payouts here on the screen, 54K for the next player eliminated. 216K awaiting the winner today. Jimmy Bluffett is asking me what the best sandwich in Vegas is. Now, <laughs> your, the answer might surprise you because it is from a French cafe called Café du Sud in the Southern Highlands. And it's a ham and cheese baguette. Has a little bit of small pickles on it. Some, I think there's some mayonnaise on it, of course, obviously. Um, but it's, it's about the quality of the bread, ladies and gentlemen. It has to be a fresh baguette. Didn't you have a, I think it was maybe a Cuban recently at a new place? Maybe a couple oh, months ago? Yeah, you yeah. said it was really, really yes, good? Yes, it was. Um, I got I to gotta find which place that was because I've had a, I, I tend to order the Cubano sandwich a lot Cuban wherever three. I go. Big fan. There's a place near us, actually, Don, Don and I live pretty close to each other, a uh, Cuban restaurant. They had a really good Cuban sandwich. Why are we talking about food? I'm just like torturing myself. <laughs> I'm literally trying to lose weight. I'm trying to be healthy, get in no, shape for the summer. I don't know. That's not. That's it's funny. Uh, one of my friends sent me a Instagram story of this, this TikTok food reviewer or whatever from Vegas. What but I he reviewed yeah, I kinda did this place like that, that reached out to him. You know, they hadn't been. Like there. There. There's, there's a look at David Peters' career highlight, like you said earlier. First cash back in 20 or 2006. His largest cash, second to try to score over 2.6 million dollars. His first seven-figure live cash in the 2015 season. Which of course had a 500k buy-in won by Brian Rast. Who did Brian Rast defeat heads up on? Scott Siebert. There it is. I thought I would trick you. So back to my story. Yes. The TikToker went to review this place, yes. put it on his TikTok, and there's like an hour line now outside the, the place in no Vegas. Way. It's in Vegas, yeah. What's it called? It's like Frankie's or Frank's or something. It's like a pizza place, Italian subs, that sort of thing. Like wow. the guy had garlic knots. He gave he gave the garlic knots a 9.2. <laughs> like he gave the he had some Italian like sub. He's like this is a banger. Like so yeah. Wow. That's amazing. The place that I was thinking of is called Kubani Dot 1885. Which I'm pretty sure is like a couple of stores down from Crumble Cookies. Yes, it is. <laughs> so you can get a sandwich and then go get a cookie. And there's a there's a there's a Gati Thai kitchen in the same plaza and a Bibim Kitchen Korean place, which we go to all the time. All in. Here it is, all in. Wow. 
Fox and raising it up to 160k. Peters with a massive shove. I mean, that's a 29 big blind shove, Donnie. Please explain that to me. Um, I mean, Ace King off. I think it's preferred to shove there. You get <laughs> hands like mm. tens lower to fold, maybe. I mean, Jack's probably call, but uh, I mean, I'm not sure how Fox and is really loving it. If you just three bet and you get ripped on there, I mean. Given the stack sizes, the ICM, all that sort of stuff, are you really that happy to get it in with Ace King off? I mean, it's a really tricky, kind of crappy spot. I don't think you really want to just be flipping against like two tens if you're David Peters. So you'd rather put the pressure on the other person as opposed to having the pressure put on yourself. And just stick it in. If you're just tuning in. This is event one of the 2023 Pokego Cup, the first event of the PGT season. We're going to have, what, it was 10 events, right, or 12? How, how many have we got this week? Eight. Oh, see, I'm just way too optimistic. <laughs> I just want to keep going. We have eight events. Yes, Jimmy, that is it. Cafe du Sud. 2.7 now? Ham sandwich. Alex says, Bobby at Capriotti's. Now, I've eaten my share of Bobby's in my life, but I also feel like it's shortening my life by a <laughs> considerable <laughs> amount. Um, I, do love th I do love them, but I always feel immense guilt after. Fox had, meanwhile, looking to defend here with the 4-3 suited. The type of hand back in the day, only Gus Hansen dared to play. Oh, yeah. Good old Gus, baby, the Great Dane. Jack four eight rolls off the deck. Pair of fours for Alex Fox and giving him the lead. However, on this type of four texture, it's safe to assume that Peters might continue here. Yeah, I think Peters will continue, but I also don't think Alex Fox in a fold. He's got enough of that board. Uh, not only does he have a pair in a heads-up pot, Peters electing to check behind, taking the showdown value route. King of Diamonds on the turn, giving Peters a Broadway draw. Fox is still, of course, hoping to get the showdown cheap. Yeah, but that king can probably make it harder for Foxen to get the showdown. That king should favor Peters a little bit more. We'll see if he wants to bet or if he just wants to check behind and see if he can realize some of that equity with a straight draw. The ace high showdown value. Do you think he's, he's more likely to bet the turn if it's a complete blank? Like, I mean, I'll go maybe a no, I think uh, on boards like this, um, when the turn comes, an ace, a king, or a queen, um, it's very good for Peters' hand. Uh, he'd be more likely to bet there. This card also can, can be considered a blank, right, Don? Yeah, I mean, this. if Peters wants to bet here, I think it's going to be on the harder side to get Alex Fox in the fold. I don't think a board pairing changes much in this specific spot. And I think Peters also, like, it's going to be... I'm not sure he wants to bet, you know, because he does have the showdown value with ace high in the spot. Once again, Fox is trying <coughs> to get out of this one cheaply, and he does. Peters checks behind, and Fox shows the four enough to take this one down. Um, I just want to correct someone in the chat here. I'm trying to find who said it. I'm all for correcting the chat pros. Wes Tobler. <laughs> Wes Tobler says, don't know about best sandwich, but best pizza is secret pizza. Wes, you're wrong, <laughs> which is okay. It's, 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 we're all wrong sometimes. It's totally okay to be wrong. Um, it's actually good pie. Good I pie. don't know why. Everyone always seems to mention secret pizza. Okay, I have a theory on this. You're drunk when you eat it? Exactly <laughs> right. You're drunk when you eat it. I've had secret pizza a bunch, and I've always been drunk. Yes, exactly. And I think secret pizza is fine, but it is, it is drunk pizza. It's also messy and soggy, and there's too many toppings. Quality is just not up there with good pie. I will say the, I think the atmosphere of Secret Pizza is probably the closest thing to you get to like a busy like pizza slice shop in New York City. True. Which I think is like resonates Only? with people for some oh, reason because they're, they're just back there. They're slinging pies. They're firing out slices. You know what I mean? And everyone's hammered coming out the club. Like I get it. You know. I mean, while Chung gets the race through, but let's let's not let's not let this poker action distract us from the pizza conversation. Um, but yeah, go check out Good Pie. It's, uh, it's a locally owned shop on Main Street. Joseph, when's the last time you used 7-bet A7? <laughs> Never. A 6-bet. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>
I think I six. There had to have been a time when you seven bet it. I think I six bet four more times that year and busted and never again. I thought it wasn't a thing. Dude, I, I was playing this guy heads up one time, and I nine bet all in heads up uh, with Jack Dews off. You were 11, right? No, I was like 19. <laughs> <laughs> Did he fold? No, he called with aces. <laughs> <laughs> of course he called with aces. Sean Winter is the best. Said it like he was so mad that the guy had aces. You know? <laughs> aces, by the way, now for Sean Winter, the timing could not be any more perfect. And Joseph Chunk picks up eights for the second hand in a row. I mean, these eights look pretty tasty. Yeah, I think this is going to end up going in here. You're in the chat right now. I pause the chat wow. so I can keep up. Oh, oh wow! What a job, Joseph Chong! Incredible fold from Joseph Chong, and he just must oh, really understand wow. how tight Sean Winter has been playing at this table. What's the most crazy you're running? I mean, just a brutal spot. As a bluff. <coughs> I was just gonna say I pause the chat so I'll catch up on that like after this hand because I, I assumed Joe Chong <laughs> would move <laughs> all in. Like, with like in three bed every like every time I did, I never flatted an open, so I made it like 2.2x over every. Mm -hmm. So our open moves like all in as Sean Winter snaps him off moves. with yeah, pocket exactly. aces, <laughs> and this is exactly what he's so been I waiting for <coughs> for the last pocket eight. hour or probably, so. Probably still six. Sean Winter came into the final table as the short stack, Successful. still <laughs> near the bottom of the counts. However, the I saw he seven has open and get it through. <laughs> Orban Kisakshioglu is now yeah, at risk of the sixth place. The sixth place was, was queen eight. You want to waste your sec out in the smallest like tournament you've played? Given how he's been wanting to put his chips in so far. Is that really what you want to do? <laughs> this final I don't mind. Recognize that was the situation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, we, That's yeah, not what you want to do. You get the five bet. You get cooler than the two bets. The final table is the final table. Of course, now an eight's going to come. Of course, it's going to come. It's going to on the river. That's how it always happens. Five, ten, queen on the flop. I believe in you. Orban looking for running straight cards. I do. Or a jack, of course. Turn card. Five of diamonds. Five Two outs for him. Down. Favorite card. Eight of diamonds. I told you it was coming on the river. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> god. Donnie <laughs> Peters <laughs> called it. Joseph Chong would have hit his set on the river. You called me, yeah? Yeah. Ocho, Ocho? Wow. Uh, sick yeah, yeah I think I had a million. You weren't so uh, scary. Seven, seven Over fifty. Sexual glue eliminated in sixth place. Takes home fifty-four thousand dollars, yeah. and we are down to the final Oops. five Good at this Book of Cup event. One final table. Ten K buying, two hundred and sixteen K up top. I think for I the would. Just looking at trying to like, his aces. I don't know how, but he just has it. <laughs> True. It's the first time you've ever, uh, like, if I didn't wow. mention that ace seven thing before that, that you just 100% all in the ace. Quite <laughs> the cooler there for Orpin. Save yourself. I know. Talk. Up to 25 big blinds. Joseph Chong, the short stack. With that, I think picks. that's true. Tough hand for Asians to fold, you know, pocket eights. Tough for Justin Young, too. You say that after you look at aces <laughs> or before? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was delayed on that. Average stack has gone down to 27 big blinds despite Orphan <laughs> busting out. Five players remaining. Okay. All right, back to the chat. Let me get caught up. But yes, oh, that's how, what I was going to say. Main Street in Las Vegas, underrated. Cool bars, cool restaurants, breweries, tacos, taco spots, everything you want to go check out is there. Uh, Main Street needs to get some more hype. So if you're in town, go check out Main Street. <laughs> it's me, bro. It says, where are the 50 cent hot dogs? Back in the day, I would go to Bill's Gambling Hall on Sunday to watch football. Started with like $1, one dollar hot dogs and one dollar beers. It's amazing. More. Chat also wants to know, Donnie, what the name of the restaurant is. Your TikTok. Like two million. Question. I'll have to look it up yeah. right now. 
Give me, <coughs> give me a minute. I'll circle back. Meanwhile, I gotta find this whole thing. Does it matter what Big I started? Action with? from Sean Winter. You're going to 500. Not that hand, but you just asked me after I dragged the pot. I could have, yeah. Wow, Sean Winter is shifting into a higher gear, free betting with the 500k with nothing after being quiet for the entire first hour of this final table. So he's here to play and awfully close to the top of the standings after that big hand. And here's a look at the chip denominations. The blues are 5k, the purples are 25k, and the yellows are 100k. Frankincense Pizzeria. Frankincense. It is on South Maryland Parkway, 8334 South Maryland Parkway. The TikToker is posting basically daily updates. He really? went back there, uh, I believe it was last night or the night before, said uh, day four update, two to three hour wait. No way. That is just ridiculous. That is so bizarre. Uh, meanwhile, Fox and. You've been there? You've been there? Oh. Producer Aiden is leaving the building right now to uh, drive on over to pick up some yeah, pizza. Yeah, go get us some pizza, man. Wait there for three hours. Anyway, Fox and Winter clashing again. Just the previous hand, Winter made it 700k. And now he's making it 700k from the small blind. Of course, the worst position at the table, trying to throw in a little more. And Fox and once again with the quick toss. And Sean Winter, all of a sudden, from... He has six, five big lines at one point. Five bigs <laughs> up to 31 bigs. Anyway. Thank you all for tuning in. When we hit 500 likes on the video, we are going to do a giveaway for a free annual subscription of Go. We're at 438 likes. Come on. Appreciate hey, it. You can smash the like oh. button. And, of course, subscribe to the channel. Mm -hmm. We've got a fair share of free streaming coming up on Poker Go YouTube in the next few days. Of course, Daily Clips and Highlights also on our YouTube channel, so don't miss out. Subscribe right now. If you are a real fan, you turn on the notification bell so you get a warning whenever we have something new coming out. Matias Monte asking what those black cards are for on the table. Those are time extension cards, plaques, whatever you want to call them, each one worth an additional 30 seconds. Every player has 30 seconds to act with each action to start. If you see the overhead shot of the table, you'll see there's an iPad with a, with a little stopwatch running on it. The dealer presses reset with every new action. They usually announce that there's 10 seconds left, and then once it passes 30, you have to toss in one of those time extension chips. Four <laughs> eight. David Peters here waiting till 29 seconds on the clock to announce the 3-bet to 480,000. Let's see what Alex Dawson wants to do here. I'd love to see some post law battling, but the stacks are getting pretty shallow. Up. Yep. And there it is. It's the muck. Stacy said we should door dash that piece. I don't know if we're going to wait three hours. That's right. Here's a look at our final table standings. And look at how the field has drawn closer and closer together, with the exception of Joseph Chong, who is our first stack with 13 big blinds. We had 90 entries in event number one, 13 players in the money. And if you want to follow along with event number two, which is underway right now as well, inside the Poker Go Studio, check out pgc.com. And if you want your fix of Poker Podcast, listen to the Poker Go Podcast on Apple, Spotify, and wherever you listen to your podcast. Just search for Poker Go Podcast in your favorite podcasting app. Johnny Peters, Tim Duckworth, That's right. weekly episodes, Seven? maybe even daily Seven sometimes, more. depending yeah, on... Yeah, we're, we're going to be doing daily during this Poker Go Cup. Beautiful. And... I guess 27... If you guys leave a review, wow! take a screenshot of the review, take a photo with your phone, I don't care how you do it, and send it in to podcast at pokergo.com, and you will be entered in to our giveaway. We basically tally everyone in a giant sheet, and we have giveaways all the time. The giveaway that we're running right now that we're going to draw at the end of the Poker Girl Cup, we're going to give away one Phil Ivey signed felt 
one Daniel Negron knew Seinfeld. Wow. One Phil Helm knew Seinfeld, and one felt that is signed by both Eric Seidel and Johnny Chan. Damn. The felts are framed. They're, you know, pieces of the actual game felt That's signed by all these players. That's that is badass. That is really cool. So review the podcast wherever you listen to your podcast. We prefer Apple, but you guys can do it on Spotify. You can do it wherever you listen. And send that review and take a screenshot, take a photo to podcast at pokergo.com. And you like 2.8 as well? Uh, 7. Let's 5. go. Okay. We're trying to be the number one poker podcast in the world. We might be now. I'd have no idea. but <laughs> <laughs> Love to see it. Big blind. 6.30. Coming in hot and heavy with 6.30. Peters raising the button with 10-7 suited. Fox with king deuce offsuit. Well, I haven't seen any of this at this final table before. So far, yeah, but I don't think the spots have presented themselves. Um, I think a lot of these players uh, like to three-bet hands like Foxen has and use a larger sizing. You have the king as a blocker. Blocks a lot of the good value hands that Peters might have. Meanwhile, as Brandon Plemons pointed out in the chat, we are up to 500 likes on the video, which means it's time for our first giveaway. You have to be a subscriber to our YouTube channel to be eligible, and then answer my secret question <laughs> that I will that I will ask in five minutes. So if you're not yet a subscriber to our YouTube channel, do it right now so you can enter in the chat. The giveaway is super simple. I ask a question, you answer. I will. I, ba I literally copy paste every single res uh, response into my Excel sheet. I draw a random number. The corresponding line of chat is the recipient of the free year of PokerGo, which is awesome. Sean Winter, meanwhile, raising up to the 185. Peters with Ace-10 off. We're playing five-handed poker. These hand values are going up dramatically. Iker Simon says, does the answer need to be correct? No, it doesn't need to be correct because it's uh, always opinion-based. Peters with a tight fold here, Don. Or is this sort of standard given the way that you know, Chong's short and all the players... Yeah, Chong's short, and I, I think Winter has been playing kind of snug. I mean, he does have more chips now, so he might be opening things up a little bit, but um, I don't think Winter has been getting too crazy. Igor Almeida says, can we see some post-flop action? Igor, let me make a call for it. Let me just call him up. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, hey, hey Fox, Mr. Winter. <laughs> can you just defend your blinds a bit more? And he'll be like, why? I'm like, well, Igor asked for it, so <laughs> hey, it's the least we can do. Anything for Igor. Anything for him. Uh, Sean Winter, meanwhile, had a phenomenal year on the PGT last year. Fifth, all, fifth overall and 3.5 million in total earnings. Three wins, 20 caches. I'm just going to assume he's going to still have at least block that team. this year. Yeah, probably. Impressive. Benjamin says, do you make the spreadsheet or does an assistant who isn't broadcasting? No, I literally do it myself. <laughs> who do you think we are? We don't have are you going to call my three bet? We, we, we should just use chat GPT. What is that? We what should I, use I, the AI. I don't know what that is. Like I, People say, tweet about that all the time. <laughs> I'm so old school. You're a boomer, bro. Follow me on Strava. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> First Strava reference of the year. Let's yes, go. Let's go. <laughs> Strava, pay us. Come on. Yeah, Sponsorship. Please. No I one has shouted out your product to more <laughs> people around the world than this guy, Remco. Okay? No one. Oh, man. People are really trying to poke holes in, uh, in, my, in, my, in, my, in my giveaway. You just go to a random, I think it's random.org. <laughs> you just put in a number. Draw a random number. It's very simple. Foolproof system. Meanwhile, we got, I think this is our fifth consecutive hand with a three bet. Action is definitely heating up. You're right. Well, what? limp raise. Oh, sorry. It's oh a limp yeah. raise. That should, not be allowed. that should not be allowed. Overdue. <laughs> <laughs> which, which part? The limp or the raise? The limp. <laughs> Limping is pimping, bro. That's what DeGrana said. Deuce five, deuce on the flop. Mateos versus Winter in the blind battle. Hmm? Yeah. I lost ace-king versus queens of Adrian for like 
to like have runaway chips. Yes, if you just so, like flight don't fear. Yeah. We're doing the next giveaway at a thousand likes. Go. After this handle, ask the giveaway question. It's so th it's the most obvious giveaway question so possible <laughs> on the first hand of the first oh. event of Peach Tea one twenty three. As winter nice. continues Perfect. after racing from the big blind. Two hundred and ninety K. We are streaming until there's a winner today here on YouTube. Mateos makes the call with King High Don. He gave us some insight. <coughs> I mean, I, I think it's fine to call King High as an offshore on value in a heads up pot. Obviously, things changed sure. pretty dramatically on the turn. Not that he needed it given Winter's holding. On a board like that, I would guess Mateos is thinking that Sean Winter probably checks back a lot of his ace highs. Uh, just given the short on value of those hands that would be in his range, I don't think Mateos is going to think that Winter has a lot of twos in his hand. Probably not too many fives as well. And Winter's going to need to bet his hands on that flop, like hands like, you know, obviously queen three, but like the ten nines, the ten eights, stuff like that, that just totally whiff and really don't have any sort of backdoor equity. He's going to just need to bet them. Galen asking, why would I sub to Poker Go if this is free? Well, tomorrow and, and beyond, we are doing one-hour previews of the action. So we're just doing this to ge generate some awareness for the Poker Go Cup, which is going to run for eight straight events. Buy-in's going up every second event. 0 for 2 post flood. And Mateos picks this one up. Yeah. Buy-in's Going up. That's true. Uh, we're going up the 50, right? Pre-flop. Yeah. Yeah. Stick the finale. The is, is I, I tried. There we go. AJ Mateos, 29.7 million in Maybe 280 and he folds. tournament earnings. I was there. Where? You were there too, I believe. Pretty. When he won that World Series of Open Europe. <laughs> I was not there. He might jam. Ange I was not there that year. Angel Le Band, aka just outside of Paris. Oh, and check out our sponsor in the background here, drinkday1.com. Go check them out. I've been drinking their CBD sparkling waters. I'm not, I'm not even getting paid to say this, but they were fantastic. <laughs> like they have a lemon and a lime. They're awesome. And they, they, I think they have a grapefruit we looked up on the website. Oh, damn. We need to get some grapefruit. I didn't get the chance to try that. Big fan of grapefruit. Uh, all right, here's the question for everyone wondering. Of course, Steven Shidwick was the number one overall player on the PGT in 2022. But who's going to be number one in 2023? Let us know in the chat. Who do you think is going to be the overall top point scorer on the 2023 Poker Go Tour. Give you guys a few minutes to submit your guesses. I, I will draw a random winner. winner. And the winner will get an annual oh, subscription so. to Poker Go light. for free. He's 19. Just because, why not? 19? God damn it. Good eye. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Sam move chat. right there. How yeah. many total events are there in, on the PGC this year? Like 100? I mean, we, we don't know for sure yet. Um, there's going to be at least 100, likely push towards 150. We, we for sure want to have at least 100, right? You know, in order to crown um, the best players on the leaderboard, we want to be able to put up a large volume so it's not just a variance fest <laughs> in, like, three tournaments. Um, and then, you know, if we can get up to 150, that would be great. I think last year there was right around 175. Um, which was up from around 140 the year before. Um, increases from the first season to the second season went up in entries, up in events offered, up in prize pool. This year we're going to be close to awarding a billion dollar in prize money. I think we're like a we billion? came we came into the year like 299 million dollars short. 380. So if we hit basically 300 million in prize money awarded across the PGT in 2023, we will have awarded a billion dollars in prize money in just three seasons. It's Pretty really wild. Last I checked, <laughs> a billion dollars is a lot of money. That is a lot of money. Winter, meanwhile, with the three bet, once again picking it up before the flop. Is it, it, was it to be expected, Donnie, that we see a lot dollar. more three betting in this stage of the tournament? <laughs> I don't know if it, it was to be expected, but like given it. the way that I these stacks have yeah, progressed, like I think yeah. it's going to allow <laughs> for it. You know, obviously we have Joseph Chong getting close to 10 big blinds, but the other players all have 30 big blinds or higher. So I they like do it. have enough playability mm -hmm. in their stacks to be able to, 
you know, put in some three best. bets, and it's not just, you know, raise, shove, or all in pre-flop, and then you're waiting for somebody to call or fold. Like, there is some playability that, that these players have, and we're going to see them maneuver accordingly. That'll especially be true if we get down to four-handed and Joseph Chong is the one that ends up bowing out in fifth here <laughs> because then everyone else's stack is, you know, going to go up a little bit. Yeah, whoever sends Joseph Chong to the rail is going to have a decent chip. Rolling. And there it is, Joseph Chong all in against Alex Fox. And let's see if he With a seven. a seven. With the A7. Classic. Don't worry. Should have showed it. I mean, he, he should have showed it. Not sure we've said it today, but uh, blue chips 5K, purple chips 25K, yellow chips 100K. So you guys can uh, count along at home. All right, I'll give you guys two more minutes to submit your guesses as to who you think is going to be the overall top point scorer on the PGT in 2023. Mr. Winter. Messing around with seven three there. <laughs> <laughs> Taking his time. Billy says, "I wish Joe would have won the 2010 main event." I think uh, he had a lot of people rooting for him, given oh, yeah. his, his playing style and, and his presence. You know, Fox is coming with the raise here. Ace nine from the small blind. Fifty k to go, just over three x. Boxing going with the larger sizing, being out of position. Mateo's good hand to call here in position nine eight of hearts. We see that he is dominated, but still a very playable hand. Six five one heart. Okay, after this hand, I'll announce the winner. There we go. I mean, get those guesses and people. Let's go. Next giveaway at a thousand likes. In case you miss out. Yes, yeah, so, so guess and then like the video. One forty-five. Nice small bet here from Boxing. Quarter pot. Don't think Mateos is going to be folding. Obviously has the gutter to the seven. But the backdoor flush draw as well. Pretty good equity in this game. We know Mateos is certainly capable of taking pots away on later streets should he not improve. Picking up more equity, a hard one to play with even more interesting. Given the state of his hand, I think it's likely going to see here a bluff, bluff for today. I think the fact that he didn't pick up additional equity with the heart coming in, that he is like more likely to bluff here. Right. Had it been the deuce of hearts, for example, you might just want to check back and you know fully realize your equity. for Mateos. Fox and probably assuming here that hey if I call this street I might be in it for a lot more on the river given the Yeah I mean it, yeah and it's gonna be a sizing game there, it's gonna be a guessing game there. Looks like he's gonna call here. 
Wow, Foxen does make the call. So far, his instincts on point. Curious to see what plan he has coming into the river here. Deuce of hearts on the river. That's going to be a tough card, I think, for Adrian Mateos to bluff. But we also know that Adrian, <laughs> he can't win unless he pets and gets Fox in the fold. Mateos with a little over pot size remaining. 1.7 in his stack, 1.43 in the middle. I mean, we are we are just primed here for an all-in bluff, and then 1.150. The possibility of an amazing hero call as Adrian Mateos bets 1.150 on the river. The majority of his stack leaving himself with only 545k. Alex Foxen with a decision here, just ace high. But what will he do? Not giving up so quickly. See, so this is where this is where the top players shine, Donnie. This is. So Foxen knows he doesn't have the ace of diamonds in his hand. He has ace nine. He has the nine of diamonds. So if Mateos is floating the flop with ace high, betting a flush draw on the turn, and now just going for it on the river. And if Mateos has a hand like 5 6, I think it's really hard for him to make this bet on the river. Queens can make this bet. You know, Queen 10, Queen Jack, Queen 9, whatever, but that's kind of just a guessing game for Mr. Alex Foxen. Probably doesn't have a lot of deuces, does Mateos. Could have a 3 4 suited, though. I mean, all these things, uh, all these things going through Foxen's head as he contemplates an ace high call. This would be absolutely massive. Incredible leverage here in this spot. I mean, if he calls here, he's got a big chip lead. Mateos is a severe short stack. I mean, just the leveling war is going on. Incredible. Another time bank chip. Alex Foxman is serious about this spot. He's serious about the fact that he doesn't believe Adrian Mateos an ace high is on the table here to make a big call with. It helps a little bit that this is for half of Foxen's stack. He's not going to be. Uh, Foxen just looked at his remaining time extension to see <laughs> how much longer he could think this through. What a call this would be if Alex Foxen pulls the trigger. Oh, oh he the makes the call. Wow. Wow. Show the ace high. Wow, that's why he's the number one player in the world. Holy. Ladies and gentlemen, don't adjust your setup. That was an amazing hero call. Alex Foxen with ace high cripples Adrian Mateos down only 545k. That was phenomenal stuff. Wow, one of the best in the world. Last year, sixth on the PGT. This year, I called and they're like, he might be, he might be able to win. Ten. Like, Fuck. <laughs> What a hand. Oh my god, what a call. Gotta make sure they don't have this Incredible stuff from Alex Fox in there. I mean, how many hands? The year is only 12 days Four? old, but wow. for <laughs> now, <laughs> this is the hand of the year. Oh yeah. I mean, it's going to be tough to beat that one. Final table stage at the Poker Girl Cup. Some of the best players in the world here. Two of, you know, arguably the best Fox and Mateos going at it. I do want to say, the cojones one ha one has to put the <laughs> chips on the line like Mateos did there, oh, man. incredible. Oh, yeah. uh, and then the amazing ability Alex Foxen has to make that call. Just <laughs> really incredible play all around. Jeez. I mean, I don't want to say that I called it, but I called it. I said this is the oh, spot for Mateos to pull off the big bluff, and then for Foxen to give himself the spot to make the big bluff. Mateos did leave himself with some chips, though. <laughs> he did put it all in. Here's a look at Alex Foxen's last 10 hands. Picked up almost 2 million chips in that one hand. Now the commanding chip leader with 4.9 million.
I mean, that was just <laughs> an extraordinary call. Yeah. Made me forget about the giveaway. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> Guess what? I, I, drew, I drew a winner during the hand, so, so here we are. The winner of a free year of Poker Go is Harold W. Harold W., winner of the giveaway for a free year of Poker Go. Harold, all you have to do is send an email to social at pokergo.com. Social at pokergo.com. Attach a screenshot of you logged into your YouTube account so I can see that it's your name and avatar and all that stuff. And then we'll verify some details and then I'll credit you for a year of free Poker Go. Harold W. Uh, Next giveaway at a thousand likes, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. This is no, this is this is thirty-one now. Three. This is three. Yeah. yeah. How many did they draw? Four. I think I just picked up on the fact that we're playing four more hands until we go on break. <laughs> Made the most of that level, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go anywhere. We're streaming this final table until we have a winner today. And if you enjoy the content, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, do all that good stuff. What a call, Donnie. I'm still reeling. I mean, that was just wild. Good <laughs> just really Thank goes you. to show you how good these guys good are. I mean, Mateos also read the situation correctly. He obviously can't call with nine high. <laughs> he had to go for it, and he did. And Foxen is just, you know. He was too good in that spot. All you can do if you're Mateo is just tap the table. Nice hand, sir. Um, hopefully I can double up and get back into this thing. Action on David Peters in the small line of ace four off after Winter attacked his blind with the superior ace. There it is, Harold in the chat. Cheers, guys. Congrats once again. Wow. Sean Winter raises the button with a seven, and ace four and ace three fold into blinds. I guess the best ace one. Who we'll put this? It looked confusing. Yeah. Wait. <coughs> this is last. Oh, this is last. Yeah. I, uh, Mateos probably you know, not affected by this, but still probably thinking, man, if only I could have gotten away with that one. Guys, you're coloring up the five pages. Now he's the shortest stack. Just Chong, just ahead of him. Six and eleven big blinds, respectively. Are you getting crushed? Oh shit! You did. <laughs> Give me two hundred. All right. Okay. Looks okay. like we are about to go on break. Like I said, don't go anywhere. Actually, we'll continue <coughs> in the next level with Alex Fox and as your chip leader. We got plenty of poker left to be played. There's five players left in event one. 2023 Poker Go Cup. Please enjoy some highlights of this event. There's a look at the standings presented by Hair Club. Alex Fox and Emily, 51 big blinds. We are far from done. Let's have a look at this video. Please stay tuned for more. We'll be right back after the break. Five K, fifty K blinds, fifty K big blind ante as we wrap up level sixteen. Did you be, uh, have ace nine or ace ten sooner? You had ace six. You have ace nine or ace ten. Forty minute levels. I don't think he has ace eight. No, I. I uh, that was a close one. I couldn't. I couldn't figure it out. Of course, went to referring to a previous hand. A7 was close to shoving. I'll tell you what, though, Jeff. King Queen is good enough to get it yeah. all in here with. He's going to go 200, leaving a little.
crumbs behind. Can you start with Sean? I believe it's 360. 360. John with King Jack on the button. Let's it go. Like I, I, I might have. You might have just said Ace ten suited, and I, I would have won. You would have beat Ace ten suited. Yeah. You probably won. Ace ten is super, super strong. <laughs> Six of Sean Winter's was, last seven it's, it's caches. Yes. So we take a look at our chip denominations. Blue chips, 5K. Purple chips, 25K. The Bumblebees, 100,000 like apiece. Uh, Winter <laughs> is just read off ridiculous I mean, you'll see at No Limit Hold'em. He really is. Right. Well, that's that's fine. Uh, we're, a, we're a tandem. Like a couple of ducks. Yeah. We flock together. We do. Fox in with Ace King here who has somewhat separated himself from David Peters in the chip counts. But they're the two biggest sacks by a mile, the both of them accounting for two-thirds of the chips in play. And Mateos has Come two on. queens on the button. How do these guys keep getting hands like this against one another? Mateos folded earlier correctly. Now looking to have the coin flip of the final table thus far. All the money's going in. See Orpin fold an ace, Winter fold an ace, and Peters fold a king. So Foxen's going to make the call. It will look like a flip at the it? moment. Ace but we know that. Mateos is the win? distinct <laughs> advantage with the two queens. You're going to win? Do you think so? Yeah. I think you folded, didn't you? I'd ace five of spades. Oh. Well, Boxen hates me. hearing that. <laughs> with a spade <laughs> in his hand Winter and an ace. Winter does that yeah. on purpose. Yeah. See, I was going to rip it in on you. I was going to rip it in on you, gonna rip it in on you Foxen. You <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe I can. Off. <laughs> oh, my God. I had an ace as well. <laughs> he had an ace, I had an ace. They're all tied. I'm drawing good. What are you ever here? 9-8 deuce, of course. Uh, Six outs you, listed. You both really had yeah. Okay, we had aces. So he has, what, one? Uh, two outs. One, two outs. Yeah. That would be a bad one. Well, this is going to make Adrian sick. If this would be super come. painful. He'll be more upset. As it is actually We're two outs for Foxen, considering no, the folded cards. <laughs> and it's a six on the river. It's Tough a double up for the conquistador, yeah, Adrian <laughs> Mateos. Hey, you want to play? It's only two outs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, good fold bad. with those threes, Adrian. What? Good fold with the threes. Yeah. Threes. Lucky <laughs> threes. <laughs> The conquistador rising to the top. He won the 250K Super High Roller at the World Series in 2021, and the next year Fun finished building. in fourth in that very event. I wish I had. For their support for the 2023 Poker Go Tour. Here comes the Turk, a little Queen Jack off. Right in the muck. <laughs> Not good enough. Still kind of in that awkward spot for Orphan as he has to perhaps wait out a couple small stacks. It's just such a brutal spot, right in the middle with 20 bigs. All you can really do is win them all. look for hands to get it all in with and do a lot of folding. Chong has one to get it all in with here. Mateos looks interested. Heels the queen 10 suited. The shove is for nine bigs. Chong is the shortest stack. He's thinking back to the charts, the Sims. What are we doing with queen 10 suited when facing a shove from the short stack? He is third in chips, Mateos. Is queen 10 suited good enough? to gamble. Oh my god, Broadways are so live. He does he not think so. Like Joseph Chong keeps on hanging around. No, one more level, okay. 
look up if your seven this was a call for me. me. Doesn't appear too much cool. too often in the high roll Only event. Still did well on the PGT with almost eight hundred fifty thousand dollars in earnings. That remarkable. He had eight hundred fifty thousand. Oh, okay. five back. Oh, you could get a couple hundred likes five. on your tweet. Five fifty. Six forty. Guess. <coughs> Ninety entries in the first event of 2023's Poker Go Cup, prize pool of nine hundred thousand dollars. Now, after this show, are you going to announce that you're retiring from broadcasting? Six, I think you said uh, no, Six because 40. I'll be right back here with you for the final table of Event Four. What about at the end of Poker Go Cup? Would you ever consider announcing your retirement? I would not. No. Two fifty. I'm either man. That's good to hear. But at the end of your days of broadcasting will you announce your retirement probably yeah to get some attention on me you, you want know? that yeah, yeah. just uh, that you one could see last me wanting that yeah i could see you yeah. posting the retirement there is the music and we are back event one of the 2023 poker go cup is underway in las vegas this is the final table five players remaining i'll take you inside to continue our coverage of this event as the PGT season is now officially underway with this final table stream. We'll be with you guys all year round almost with high roller events. And Jeff Platterbrand hangs on the call on PokerGo.com. The free stream today in full, start to finish, presented by myself, Brent Baringla, and Donnie Peters. Here are the five contestants remaining who are battling for the $216,000 top prize out of the 90 entries that joined this tournament yesterday on day one. Alex Fox and the overwhelming chip leader after an incredible hero call just before the break versus Adrian Mateos, who is our current short stack. All right, cards back in the air, action underway. Let's watch some poker action and let's see if Mateos can mount a comeback here. Thanks everyone in the chat, by the way, for tuning in. The rules are the same when we hit a thousand likes. We will give away our next annual subscription. Seeing lots of Spanish fans in the chat. Always good to see. Hope everyone is having a good time. We sure are enjoying the action here. Okay. Let's see. Whoa. <laughs> Me here. Overview. Yeah, 90 entries, five remaining. Than one. Average stack now 22 big blinds, which means we will see some pushing and shoving and re raising. As David Peters takes a sip of some triple distilled water to optimize his brain power to no. calculate all these oh la shoves. La. Wow. I had the opposite. 8 6. Ooh, Winter gets a walk <laughs> with aces. Wow. Brutal. Opposite back to back. Nah, I had way better last time. God, that would have been so fucking nice if you opened too, because you just saw that. <laughs> yeah. And, and you would have known that I saw you see that. <laughs> you're right. So you're thinking I wouldn't bluff, but then you go to the second level and you're like, no, he thinks that, so then he's bluffing. I know how you think. We were, gonna, we, were, we were about to bring it back. 350? A couple of years. 350. 350,000. Like like six months. Five bet six click months. Yeah. Bad feeling. Mateos pick up, picks up some much needed chips. Still only seven bigs. We're playing 50K, 100K with a 100K big blind ante. By the way, let us know in the chat who are you rooting for? I see lots of Adrian Mateos fans, but anyone rooting for Fox and Winter? Maybe Peters, Chong? I mean, it's actually hard to 
not root for any of these players because they're all they're all great guys and they all have been around for such a long time as we look at the chip denominations. 25Ks and the 100Ks. Lots of Fox and fans in the house. Is it uh, Fox and versus the field here, Donnie, as far as the chances of winning? Seems like it is right now. I mean, it's to Fox and the advantage that Chong and Mateos are sticking around his short stacks because that means he can leverage his big stack against Winter and Peters. Darren Brown says, Winter is too lovable. He for sure is the funniest guy left in the tournament. There's Chong. Chong and Mateos are now in that short stack dance. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> okay. Why can't we just be off here? <laughs> Mateos here with Queen Eight suited. That that hand looks pretty nice. Maybe not under the gun, but <laughs> when you're in this situation, Donnie, seven bigs, Chong is shorter, but you, know, you are about to pay the big blind and the big blind, Andy. What what hand are you shoving there under the gun? Uh, and I guess Queen Eight is not part of it, but maybe Queen Nine suited. No, is, that, is that the cutoff? Or is it too? It's I think too it's light. Got to be better. I mean, I'm I'm still giving Chong stack. Like I'm still just willing to battle with. It's 550, right? 550. You know, six, five big blinds. Chong, by the way, all in here with Queen Do suited or off suit from the small blind. Fox and Jack five suited. Wow, that's a huge pickup for Chong, mm -hmm. especially because Mateos now will be in the big blind the following hand. Beautiful fountain in front of the Aria Resort and Casino here to remind you that the PGT Championship is a $1 million free roll. The top 40 players on the leaderboard plus select Dream Seed winners will be playing in this event in December of 2023. If you want to watch all the action, of course, all you have to do is subscribe to Poker Go as we will stream the vast majority of the events qualifying for the PGT. <coughs> Joseph Jungle in again, this time from the button with Queen Jack offsuit. Fox and quickly tosses it. Let's see if Mateos wakes up with something. He doesn't. That's two in a row for Joseph Chong, and all, all of a sudden he's back in the game. That's, oh how, yeah. that's how big the blinds and antis are. Oh yeah. There's a few calls. Yeah. Yeah. Remco mentioned those dream seats. Yeah, what's that? Basically, we're going to be giving away some seats to the PGT Championship. I mean, Sean we're still in the like final stages of organizing exactly no, how we're going to do it, but that means the audience out there could, you know, win their way into that million-dollar free roll. Can I can I play? No, I think employees are <laughs> not allowed. Um, but people of my level can play. Oh, for sure. So I think uh, one of the things that's going to pay to be is a YouTube subscriber. So uh, <laughs> you guys can get ahead of the I'm game and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Wow. <laughs> Maybe a little bit, giving you a little bit of a head start here, you know, yes. suggesting I that I could help you down the line. Huge spot here for Sean Winter, by the way. Alex Foxen just trying to apply the maximum pressure from the button. King Six suited. He just jammed. Sean Winter here has to make a decision, but I cannot imagine Eights being good enough here given how I much mean, shorter Chong and Mateos are. Eights is probably the cutoff in this spot, and he does make wow. the call. There you go. He makes the call. Sean Winter I feel like, uh, is not here to ladder. David Coleman. <laughs> Sean Winter at risk. Joseph Chong and Adrian Mateos happily seeing a big showdown like this, but Winter, of course, is, is the is favorite for a big double up. This is the you don't make it. top two stacks clashing, Donnie. It's very rare to yeah. see with these short stacks <laughs> around. Wow, this is crazy. Here comes the flop. Wow. Nice. Whoa. -oh. 10, 9, 4, two clubs. <laughs> Good game. I know. <laughs> nice hand. Thanks. Good game. Yeah. So did you have a club? You have four clubs. Turn card. 10 of diamonds. Wow, now a 9. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, just, just, you know, half the deck. No big deal. This is incredible stuff. If Foxen sends Winter to the rail, this thing is all but over. Yeah. River card, 13 outs. Can he hit one? It's the Queen of Hearts. Wow. Sean Winter fades. Okay, nice. I can just see and takes the chip lead. Wow, what a fade. Uh, two, three, two, five. Jason Parker in the chat. Too many outs, indeed. Too many outs. What a fade for Mr. Winter, baby. If you're curious to see what's was, streaming uh, next, <coughs> go to pokego.com slash schedule. I got to in. We have a huge schedule of events coming up on our stream. Today, excited to have this free stream from start to finish. And we got lucky because this final table was stacked. Stacked and a lot of fun hands, yeah, some wild ones. One big blind behind to me yesterday. Always love it when they kick in the tunes. Here's a look at the Sean Winter career highlights. First cash, February 2011. Sixth in a World Series Booker Circuit event in West Palm Beach. And his biggest cash, just like who did we see before? Also, second place finish, David Peters, I believe, in a Triton Super High Roller for Sean Winter. Party Booker Super High Roller, second place, also his biggest score. Action back on Joseph Chung. Jackman suited, hits the muck. on Sean Winter now, the chip leader at the table. All of a sudden, the dynamics have changed completely. 1850. Sean Winter raising to exactly you to the amount of chips one? David Peters has left. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he tables his hand and I expect to hold the flop. <laughs> That's what Dan Smith called me out on. Raging on me. Not seeing through my my game. Yeah, we got he was not happy. <laughs> like I'm like, I look at these things differently, you know. You talk. I'm trying to pick up on the story that he's trying to tell. Shawinger, of course. <laughs> always getting into it with everyone, but mostly in a jovial fashion. First prize today, $216,000. All in. David Peters moves all in, puts Chong at risk. Queen four suited. Chong looking up at that <laughs> memorized chart in his head, the back top, top, top right corner. Some uh, Queen Gambit, Queen's Gambit type <laughs> style, where you look at the ceiling to see the chart. The same way that she would see the chest pieces move. If you're just tuning in, or if you've been with us from the start, let us know where you're watching from. Always love to hear. If, you've, uh, if you're catching this at a later time as a on-demand viewing, let us know in the comments, comments if you're enjoying the content. and who you think is going to win the PGC this year. I love this five-handed play. So much pressure to be applied. So many big spots just constantly following each other up. And a huge fold there from Chong as Fox <coughs> has a beautiful hand there in the big blind. Stacy says, listening at work now in sunny California. Sunny California, does that still go? Isn't it like rainy California at this point? I mean, California might might be be, like <laughs> be flooded and float out to sea pretty soon. Exactly. We got Belgium in the house, Argentina, England, South Africa, Ireland, Springfield, Chicago, Croatia. Kyle says, people are watching this on demand right now. No, Kyle, I'm talking to the people of the future. <laughs> let's let's say you fi let's say you find this video in the year 2026. Uh. I want you to also have a good time. 
This is this is not going to be deleted as soon as the stream ends, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I love it. I love it. Of course, those people are missing out on some of our giveaways, and we have one. We hit a thousand likes. <laughs> but yes, people of the future, speak to me through the comment section. Paul House said he's watching from Springfield, and then somebody followed up with Springfield, what state? <laughs> I feel like there's a Springfield in every state. Yep. It's one of those uh, towns or cities that is probably in 70% of the U.S. states. Yeah, what's the one from uh, The Simpsons? No. Uh, Kansas? Missouri? Meanwhile, top pair here for Sean Winter. Mateo's with the back door of clubs, but he has almost nothing left behind. Winter raised before the flop to 225. Mateo's called from the big blind for the extra 125. And now the action goes check, check. Mateo's just hoping for something. Deuce of spades on the turn. Some very shallow poker being played, but Mateo's drawing stone dead here. once again checks of course no chance he's going to bluff at this given how small the stack is check check again river card ace of hearts matthew says 41 springfields in 35 states yeah. that's hilarious yeah. Mateos checks again, has given up on this hand, and will be left <laughs> with just a blind and a half. Is that the most? What's the most? I mean, as far as town names? Like, yeah. Probably Springfield. I don't know. Town slash cities per state ratio. What's the highest? I mean, 41 and 35 <laughs> seems pretty high. C can Matthew Edwards get on that for us? <laughs> Give us the list of the top three, please. Winter with a small bet, and Mateos is going to lay it down. Adrian Mateos, ladies and gentlemen, will likely be all in on this very next hand when he's in the small blind. I wonder if Nevada has a Springfield. I would bet Nevada is one that doesn't. Almost saved you. Here's a look at the all-time money list. Insane. Insanely stacked table. 7th, 16th, 22nd, 29th, and 50th. Those are the remaining players in today's event. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Nevada has some amazing town names, like Goldfield. Goldfield. I've driven through there many times. Yeah, on the way to Reno. One big blind for Adrian Mateos. Riverside is in 46 states. Riverside's another good one. Mateo's all in. It's tempting. <laughs> for 175K, Sean Winter makes the call with 7 4 you, off. I Mateo's I you around, but well I ahead. Double up your round, too. <coughs> it's 175. Can I surrender? Sure. <laughs> he tabled his hand, I mean. Here comes the flop. 7-3-3, three, three. Nice. Sean yeah, Winter I takes the lead. What do you want? Uh, Tim. What do you want? <laughs> what do I want? <laughs> <laughs> what does Joe want? That's perfect. Adrian Mateos is not having That's to sweat. Up. He just wants a 10. There we go. Turn. Gives club. us a sweat. Club, there we club. go, Joe. A little sweat. A club, a 10, or a 9 for Mateos, or else he'll be gone. Uh, what you Call it out. Call it out, Joe. There's only a chop, huh? Deuce of clubs is. on the river. There it is. Wow. I didn't want that. <laughs> <laughs> Vamos España. Let's hear it in the chat for my Adrian Mateos fans. Don't call it a comeback. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Don't count him out. Our guy Matthew Edwards came through. Washington, Franklin, yeah, and Clinton wow. <laughs> are the most <laughs> common city names. I didn't know it was Joe or Joseph. Pretty good. That is pretty good. <laughs> Producer Aiden said there are 91 Washingtons in 29 states. That's not very original. 
as uh, Adrian Mateos cracks a smile after hitting a running clubs to stay alive, but he's still sitting on just four big blinds. Would you ever expect America to be original? No. Exactly. It's a giant <laughs> copy-paste. <laughs> Going back to my original argument of why I never go to any <laughs> franchise restaurants, because it's literally copy-paste. Also, Donnie, between <laughs> Donnie and I live about eight minutes apart. Between his house and my house, there's like 19 gas Only. stations. Like, why? There's one on every street corner. It drives me crazy. Meanwhile, Perfect. Fox and Raises with eights. Mateos all in with queens. Sean Winter finds ace-king in the small blind. We might see a massive three-way all-in here. I mean, wow. I mean, the range that Mateos has from uh, Winter's perspective has to be so wide. I think we're going to see Winter put this in. Eight hundred. Wow. He goes to eight hundred. Okay. This gives Fox an an out. Why not seven? These guys know each other so well. So many mind games going on between Fox and, and Winter. Wow, disciplined lay down there from Alex Fox and Mateo showing the best hand. What is that? Queens. He can <laughs> Queens. Really? Two Queens. Yeah. The winning hand. <laughs> That's right. Ace, King, King. No, I don't, Actually, I don't think, yeah. The extra chips from Fox Ace, King, King? give Mateo a chance to triple up here. Oh, yeah. So, uh, queen, Queen? Yeah, it's 7 5. Okay, so I'm a favorite. <laughs> <laughs> when, you, when Ace, King is still alive, you become favorite. Jack, 10, And the nine. queen's live, you guys said? <laughs> yeah, many kings too. What a king queen. <laughs> Sean Winter always Seven rooting five, for you blocked the bull crap coming. <laughs> the most entertaining run out. You had a pair, so you blocked the other bull crap. Turn card. <laughs> 10 of Mary hearts. Mary Greenstein. Ace on the river, the only card that will and save Sean Winter here. Andrew Mateos triple up. Yes, he can. Full house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll love it. Oh, this is so fun. Adrian Mateos was down to one big blind. And all of a sudden, he's back up to 13. And Joseph Chong is now once again the short stack. Don't Mate call it a comeback, baby. Mateos, of course, number one on How Spain's How do you say comeback in Spanish? Please, chat, let us know. Uh, number one on Spain's all-time money list, 16th on the overall all-time money list, four bracelets, and of course, back in 2013, his breakout win, winning the World Series Book of Europe main event for a million euros. I got greedy, man. I was hoping Fox and had ace jack. I would have won. I was there covering it. He was I 18 know, years old, and it was kind of nuts. Like, who is this kid? Where is he coming from? I was getting greedy. Remontada. Donnie. That's what chat says. Not That's not what dude. Google told me. A remontada. Greed. Punish. So serious remontada here from Mateos, who picks up ace ten offsuit and just continues so you had to give himself a chance to chip up. <laughs> Spectral says El Comeback. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Appreciate everyone in the chat hanging out with us, by the way. My name is Rem Karinkama. You can follow me on Twitter or on Strava. And you can follow Donnie Peters just on Twitter, Donnie underscore Peters. That's right. Don't forget to follow Rem on <laughs> Strava. <laughs> I love I'm it. I'm going to keep mentioning it. I'm tweeting at them right now. Strava. They're a pretty big deal. Yeah, well, if they were a big deal, they would sponsor us. How many followers does Strava have? 233,000. Oh, it's almost as, as many as I have. Mateos, by the way, gets <laughs> called yeah, from close. Jo Joe Chong in the big line with King-Queen off. Mateos just rips it in there. Chong, of course, only has four big lines behind. We're seeing some we're seeing some tiptoeing, Donnie. We're seeing some, like, a balancing act. These guys are trying to use every everything they com can come up with creatively. Isn't it nice being short? 
Adrian? Yeah, I learned from you. <laughs> <laughs> Mateo's learned from the best. Quick Lina. Will Hurst says the running app. Yes, it is a running app, but I don't run. I, I just ride my bike. That's what <laughs> I do. The Venn diagram of people watching this stream and being on Strava is probably extremely limited, which makes it even funnier. Meanwhile, Mateos, again with a decent hand, this time goes into the mud. Chong only has four big blinds left, probably a big reason why uh, Mateos laid that one down. Action folds over to David Peters, who finds a nice little spot here to try to knock out Joseph Chong. Feels like a shove is incoming here. One second. <coughs> Instead of shoving, he just comes in for a small raise and it doesn't seem like anyone is going to tangle with him. Given 1 the state 8, of right? cards. Yeah. This isn't snacks. We can have it. Maybe. I like how people come. Whenever people come in here, they like talk to us. Like they whisper. Like we're just not going to say something like on the stream. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is the. This isn't the A team. <laughs> exactly. We do whatever we want. We are not professionals. <laughs> we're just having some fun. We're taking some food orders here. Having some, <coughs> having some dump, dumplings <coughs> by the looks by the looks of it. Din Tai Fung at uh, at Aria. Phil Helmuth is always eating there, shouting them out. So I'll shout them out. You gotta do commentary now, Donnie, because I've never looked at his menu. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully Sean Winter just tells the story. One point six. One point five seven two five. All in. Wow. Fox and all in, applying pressure. Mateos has nothing but a nine three, so he gives it up. <coughs> if you found a call there, I would never play King Six again. You guys out there, are you you guys fans of dumplings? Kyle said, the Aria is so nice, take my money. <laughs> I'm sure they'd be happy to. I would be happy to take your money, too. <coughs> Joker Miner said, have we given away the signed pictures yet? No, we haven't, but that is for our Poker Go podcast giveaway. Leave a review for the Poker Girl podcast wherever you listen to your podcast. Take a screenshot of that review. Take a photo. Send it in to podcast at pokergo.com, and you will be entered into the giveaway. Meanwhile, the short stack battle rages on as Mateos attacks Sean Winter's big blind, and we might see a defend here. Next giveaway for an annual subscription. We hit 1,000 likes on the video. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Little Jay asked if he can give a bad review. You can give a bad review, but you better leave five stars. <laughs> that, that's the rule. Four. Mateos, for those are, that are just tuning in, Adrian Mateos had 175,000 chips about six hands ago. <laughs> he now has 1.7 million chips. You do the math at home. The spin-up is real. Here's a look at event number two going on right now. Just away from the cameras, and we have Dan Shack out there. Tons of notables in the mix here, Donnie. Who do you see? Eric Seidel, Sam Soverell grinding his phone. Uh, who you got over here? Ren Lin, Brian Yoon, Christopher Frank has come over from wow. Europe. He's here. Justin Saliba just uh, fresh off a final table at Borgata in their big event, so he's out here. Borgata, man, they hadn't held like a big live tournament in three years. Just come out with a $3 million guarantee, get $5.5 million in the prize pool. Just continues to be a northeast beast for poker tournaments. I mean, <coughs> I, I, I'm not sure at what point we should stop saying that poker is back because it never really <laughs> went anywhere. But since. No, since but there was that time when everyone was poker's dead. Yeah. Poker's dead. Yeah. 
People oh, people said it for quite a long time. And then, of course, you know, the, the big shutdown that happened during the pandemic, no live poker for quite a while. We were, we were covering online poker terms because there was nothing else to watch. Online I, poker was insane during that time. I rewatched every main event final table from 03 to like 2012 back during that time. But all of a sudden, things opened up again. Poker turns were back. And now it is just completely bonkers. Everyone is crushing it, which is great to see. Meanwhile, Mateos the one out of there. and Peters did. potentially the clashing. When you thought about calling him, was worse. <laughs> it was both. But every time I think too hard, I'm usually I'm not going to be good when I call. <laughs> Kyle says that I, I, I don't almost know if the took his money to not the 3 kwsp <laughs> Sorry, Kyle. <laughs> Jeff Platt on the call on PokerGo.com. Oh, I'm Remco Rinkema, Donnie Peters alongside me. The official B team, the free team, the B team, the circus oh, team, whatever you want to call us, yeah. we're here for you. Peters, by the way, defense from the big Made blind. Interesting situation here, Donnie, as but the stacks aren't very flush, deep. So. Yeah. A little third pot here action. Favorable board for Mateos. Gets it through. Wow, this is unbelievable. This run-up <coughs> is unbelievable. 2.1 million now for Adrian Mateos. Up to 20 big blinds from having just one. Do either of the commentators make a living playing poker? How much do you have, Sean? Hell no. <laughs> we play. We Four play a lot. Four point Four. But we have real jobs. Yes. And there's a look at the spin-up. Adrian got me. The Adrian Mateo spin up in just 10 hands from practically zero to now being in contention for the win in this event. $216,000 up for grabs at this event one final table. Please keep in mind we have daily streaming of the PokeGo Cup on PokeGo.com. If you're new to PokeGo.com, we have a promo code. I believe it is, what is it, Cup? PGT Cup 23? PG Cup. 23. There you go. PG As in Poker Go Cup. Right. And PG the Cup 23. Would Meanwhile, like David Peters raises the 275. Joseph Trump calls all in to perhaps, potentially, pull off an Adrian Mateos like comeback. But first, his queen high five. will have to hold up versus the jack high of David Peters. What are you feeling? Would prefer jack seven suited, but this is fine. <coughs> what, what Sean Winter is feeling is, is uh, has come true a lot oh, in these events. There's ace, jack, deuce, a jack for anymore. Peters. Four or five. That's what Sean's going to call for. There it is. Okay. We've had some fun boards, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Always a sweat. Queen or a four for Chong, or otherwise he'll be eliminated in fifth place. Can he find it? Queen on the river, he does find it. it is. And ladies and gentlemen, are we looking at another comeback? It's very possible. Joseph Chong, all of a sudden, up to 650K. And it just not, it has just not been Peters' day. I mean, started with the chip lead, and it's just been a slide the other direction. Just not really one big dent. It's just been like, Small dent after small dent after small dent. He's not the short stack. Chong is still the short stack, but Peter's clearly in fourth place. Let, let me ask this, the, the, the chat, people in the chat. Do you want nobody to bust and just get this thing, <laughs> get this thing all the way to they're playing 500K, 1 million, and there's like seven big blinds in play? Right. How funny would that be? Six, 50. 650 all in Joseph Chong from the small blind. Alex Fox and King High, he might be considering this. Not too long ago, Fox has 5 million chips. Now all of a sudden, he's scared of this shove for six bigs. 11.3 million chips in play. Makes the call. Fox makes the call. We got another showdown. And just like Adrian Mateos, now <laughs> Joseph Chong <laughs> on the brink of being right back in this. How to make this fun. How to make this fun? Five. Tell us, Sean. Sean. I felt bad about it, Three, four, five, or <laughs> I felt pretty good in save on turn even. Three, four, five, or 
Deuce, I mean, deuce 10. Deuce queen, jack, <laughs> queen Jack Deuce? Yeah, queen it's jack the flop. He found it. Ace, eight, nine rolls off the deck. Fox is still looking Four. for a deuce. Queen. queen on the turn for lots of chops. Nine. What do I have? I don't know what I have. Turn card, four of diamonds. That's not it. <coughs> you guys want to play some five-handed, 150, 300? <laughs> <laughs> Chongwinder calling out exactly what we just suggested. Right now, Foxen needs a deuce, or Chong will double up again. It's a king on the river. It's not going to do it. Joseph Chong doubles up to 1.4 million, and Alex Foxen now down to below 2 million. And this is now literally anyone's <laughs> game. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm I'm really enjoying this. It's this is fantastic. Swinging all over the place. Kevin Kevin McLean says, "I just love watching coin flips." I mean, you're gonna see a lot more if you stay tuned. Thanks everyone for tuning in. It's a pleasure to do these free streams. Quick reminder here that we had 90 players well, in this event. Tables. We lost two players. That's so insane. Should get some more play among these players now that the stacks are getting a little bit closer. Peters and Chong still right around 14 bigs each. When I had 5.3 million and now he has more than me. <laughs> Does he really? Like 20 minutes later. Winter with a hand that I think you have more than me. increases in strength as we get more shorthanded and he comes in for a raise. Sean started there with 300k. So. Yeah. I mean, the way this event has been going. Sean Winter might be the next one to get short because whoever <laughs> whoever whoever wins chips will then go on a downslide. And David Peters here finding King Jack suited. 14 bigs. He's now tied for the short stack with Joseph Chong. Mateos, by the way, second in chips now. This is fantastic. Peters could put this in here. Wouldn't fault him for that. 950. <coughs> Going with the committing raise, as we see so often from these players. And it gets through. What you got? 1.9. BK in the chat says, if B-team commentators can't make a living playing poker, then I poker is dead. Actually, I was going to ask you, what, like, what would it take? Like, I would keep a job for... It would take a lot of money for me to not have a job. One, I really like my job. I like working in poker. And two, I also understand that there is a crap ton of variance in poker. Absolutely. Quick reminder here to <laughs> check out pgt.com. We have live reporting going on right now of event number two. And we have all the updates of all of our event events on that website. But yeah, back to, your, back to your question. I think I just could not handle it. I could not handle the grind, the swings. Um, you know, I, I, I played when I was in my 20s made some decent money, did well at it, but I just never, I could never really, you know, get the lifestyle figured out playing in a very high volume. And of course, I never made it to this level, so that probably is a big factor as well. It's very intimidating when you watch the best in the world play to realize how much you're missing out on. I mean, we saw the call earlier by Alex Fox, and that was just absolutely unbelievable. If you haven't seen that, by the way, if you're just tuning in, skip back to before the break. There was a hand between Alex Foxen and Adrian Mateos that was just absolutely out of control. Foxen made, made the ace high hero call. By the way, what, what, what do you guys in the chat do for a living? I'm very curious. They're chat pros, bro. What Wait, do you think? They get paid to chat. <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> they don't get paid, but they're pros. <laughs> Pascal says, I make steel. I love my job. That's awesome. As long as you love what you do, I guess nothing really feels like a job. Sean Winter here in the small blind. A7 off. We know how much Joseph Chong likes A7. Ten seconds. 1.7. Big raise to apply pressure, and Peters lets go quickly of the 10-3 offsuit. Uh, here we go. We got some jobs here: accounting, chef, mechanical test engineer, <coughs> carpenter, consultant, paid actor. I call your bluff. 
Thank you. I paint houses, sell software, stocks, oh. butcher, wholesale no. tobacco. Is tobacco still legal? Can't be from this country. Bullfighter, I like that. If you win this tournament, will you buy me a bottle of Ascendo? <laughs> me? <laughs> Just no. Sure. I'll bring one. Split it. I'll buy you one. You want me one? So generous. Most people turn down my uh, offer, so I'll buy you one. <laughs> DSY says, I get paid to chat, my pockets yeah, are everyone fat. Everyone does. That sounds like a, the start of a rap song. Professional. We've got some teachers in here, some retirees, commercial How do you turn down wine? Where did you, where do you buy it again? What's up? Where'd you buy it? Online? I haven't seen it anywhere. Follow wine or something. Donnie is immediately Googling the wine <laughs> that Sean Winter well, referenced. Well, I have no idea how to spell what he said. I, I noticed recently that Costco has some really good wines. See, Costco is the best. <laughs> well, you did tell me that they are scamming us on the salmon. Well, yeah, That's the salmon is just outrageous. I bought <laughs> salmon there the other day. I buy the huge <laughs> thing. You know, it costs like anywhere between $25 and like $35 depending oh, on the weight. And it was twelve ninety nine a pound. I was like, all right, whatever. I mean, the cost of everything is up. Like, you try and buy eggs. First of all, you can't find eggs anywhere. Second of all, if you do find eggs, it's like seventeen ninety nine for a carton, which is just outrageous. Then I go to to Sprouts, and it was eight ninety nine a pound. That's why I was like, this is outrageous. I need to go back to Costco and return the salmon. That is insanity. Four dollars more, Costco. What are you doing? Yeah, Donnie's hurting. Chat, send us four dollars, please. <laughs> Uh, go back to the jobs here. I don't want to. I don't want to miss any good ones here. One seven five. We've got some engineers in here. Professional trolls. One seven seven five. College dropouts. Hairstylist. Found the wine. Two hundred. Two two hundred bucks. I'm guessing he goes for the more expensive ones. I mean, he is Sean Winter, so. And we're we're looking at. Three sixty. Three sixty. Five ninety nine. Oh my God. So okay. Expensive wines are overrated. Like, Alan. oh, here you go, Joseph Strong Ollie from the small blinds. Alex Fox with Ace Four. Uh oh, four. this might be a big clash. If Ace Four had been suited, I think we should would have seen ahead. a call. But Fox and tosses them into the muck. We got J Jonathan in the chat. He's a Costco salmon salesman. Thanks for hustling us. Vicente Barbero, aerospace engineer from Spain. Wow. We are severely I feel stupid outmatched. <laughs> Benny Blanco says, always trust the chat. Yes, definitely. I always trust the chat. Everything you guys say is real. Why don't you take a pond in the backyard on it? Start raising your own salmon. Uh, with the rain we've had, I could probably get do that pretty easily. Just need to start digging. <laughs> Action folds to Joseph Chong on the button. Finds Jack-10 offsuit. I love the way this tournament is playing out. We now have four players that are basically tied. And then we have Sean Winter leading the way. Mateo's here in the big blind with ace three off. Donnie, how, how much does the game change when the stacks run this close and there's no definitive short stack? Well, yeah, I mean, now it's, I mean, now you're going to have Sean Winter is going to look to apply pressure kind of equally oh across yeah. the board. And the other guys can all apply, apply pressure on each other. Mateos moves all in. That is not what Sean was hoping for. A little posturing there, of course, not going to make the call. I hate to put Jack-10 in the muck. You just hate it. What a great crowd we have today in the chat, by the way. Much love to everyone. Really appreciate it. Give us a follow as well on Twitter, at Remco Rinkema. That's R-E-M-K-O, R-I-N-K-E-M-A, and Donnie underscore Peters. That's Donnie with E-I, I, sorry, I-E. If, uh, if you enjoy our channel, by the way, please hit that subscribe button and like our video. When we hit 1,000 likes on today's video, I'm giving away another an annual subscription for free. And Harold, I saw your email. I will get to it after the stream. Harold was our winner from our 500 like giveaway. Mm. 
I know producer Aiden like messages us with his like one liners and they're always amazing. We need like a the producer button. Like where he just chimes in like once every hour with just like one line. Like, you know, like they do like on radio like shows. Like voice of God, just like yeah, coming exactly. from, the, from, the, from the top. Uh, meanwhile, Chong raises it up to 700k with Ace Jack, picks it up. I mean, this battle is as fierce as it can be right now because Sean Winter is thinking, I'm just going to let these guys fight it out for a bit. Yeah. You know, ladder up a few spots and get myself into heads up play. And these other four players are all thinking, well, I don't want to beat the next one out. I got to keep my <laughs> stack, you know, level to these other guys. Marcus Rucker says, is this live? No, it's not. <laughs> We're speaking to Wait, you. Wait, how did you <laughs> respond to me then? <laughs> We're speaking to you from the future, actually. The future is now. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you have... A-Rod Rodriguez says, Peter's definitely going to be top two. Nobody heard from him all on the stream. He's hidden. Then you have TJ, <laughs> two responses later, Peters is next to be gone. <laughs> uh, the differing opinions. The deuce versus the 7-6. Blind battle here, limp pot. Carl from Chatsville said, the chat is recorded. So that's right, yeah. We just plug it in. Someone just said that, Benny Blanco said the slow mode is perfect, actually. Um... And I just realized the slow mode is set to 30 seconds. I just I just lowered it to 20 seconds. So there we go. This, by the way, is to prevent you guys from going nuts. But uh, yeah, slow mode changed to 20 seconds. Why not? We need an on-air sign on that door. They should, they should put us in the, in the big room. Sean the Tank Winter is what Anthony suggests as far as his nickname goes. What what nickname suggestions do you guys have for Sean Winter? Cabernet. <laughs> Cabernet Sean. Sippin' Sean Winter. As expected, not a whole lot of chips making their way into the middle here. Yeah. Producer Aiden, buy a sign. There's a sign out there, the green one. That n no one looks at that sign. Put one be right here on the thing. Neon. Oh, we need a six foot six security guard. <laughs> that weighs at least 400 pounds. <laughs> like the guy from Breaking Bad. Can we hire him? <laughs> With authority. He slams down the deuce. Every time he turns his cards Every over and throws them in like that, I feel like he throws them across the whole table. Yep. <laughs> Winter the Blinker. The Night King. The Night King, of course, we have used in the past. That was a great graphic made by made by Jess. The Blizzard. <gasps> Hard to let that one go. <laughs> hard to not raise with it either, and hard to hard to do anything. Mateo just quickly tosses the fives. I might fall in love too much with the small pocket pair, but of course, given these stack sizes, you don't really want to take too much risk. It always hurts when you get nothing on the button. Winter Soldier. Hmm. <coughs> Speaking of cold, Baby Peter has been running very cold today at this final table, but maybe a little bit of luck 
we'll change things around. 6-2. Jonathan says, none of these guys are going well, out in the next three hours. Well, that make, would make for some very interesting play maybe because ten, maybe the Blinds and Andes just went up to 75K, 125, and they're not going to stop going up. But I do, I do feel like this is the longest we've ever had a five-handed battle in one of our PGT events. Aside from, of course, you know, Super High Roller Bowl, which has a very slow structure. These structures are created to be two-day events. And um, okay. we're very deep into the structure right now. Average big blinds down to 17.6 bigs. One four. One four five. Alfonso says, on my way to bed, we'll watch with the chat off. Thanks for tuning in, Alfonso. I wish you a good night. Good night, sir. Sleep well. I would sing you a lullaby, but you, you really you really <laughs> don't you really don't want that. It's a bad idea. Yeah, we we had Jeremy Osmus for that. Exactly. Go get him. Liam says, Joe Chong, A seven main event has st still one of the sickest plays in poker history. It would have been much sicker if it worked. Well, yeah, unfortunately, the other guy had two queens. Yep. Joe Keem asking how many players started the tournament. 90. We had 90 players to start. see a turn card with some chips in the middle here as we see Fox and bet 125. Chong makes the call. Eight of diamonds on the turn. <coughs> Fox and 10 high is well ahead. <coughs> Let's see if Fox and continues betting here. does and this should be pricing out Chong to see the river card. That is correct. Lays it down and Fox and picks one up. He's been on a bit of a drought lately, so he really needed these chips back. If you're just tuning in, Sean Winter is our chip leader, 36 big blinds. David Peters our short stack with just 10 big blinds. Still anyone's game here at the event one final table. Here's a look back at the players that we've lost so far. Anthony Hu busted out first, and Orpen Kisakshioglu busted out with Jax versus the aces of Sean Winter. And here we are. We've only missed two eliminations if you're just tuning in. We've got four more to go. We'll find out here on the YouTube stream who will win this event as we are streaming until there is a winner. <coughs> I wonder what the record is to be five-handed. Like blind play. Mm. That's probably next level. We might be there already. <laughs> Usually they end at this level or the next level. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen anything forehanded this week. I mean, we did start with seven, but. Doesn't doesn't matter. That's just when the stream started, but. The stream started with six or seven? Seven. I'm just saying it doesn't affect when the tournament ends. When they start streaming it. Oh. Math. <coughs> Just some math, guys. I don't want you to do math. One eight. <laughs> what 
they all have like the exact same amount of gems? Yeah. Basically. Oh, no, DP, it's Ace King. Yeah. It always feels like aces when you are deep in a tournament. You oh, yeah, baby. You, you think you have it, the goods. Kyle with a really good question. How does a chat amateur become a chat pro? You have to tell us we're idiots. <laughs> That's step one. How bad we play. <laughs> and then I think you're just kind of knighted as a chat pro. Yeah, it's man. like self-assigned in a way, yeah. you know? Just get very mad at what people say and claim you always know better. It's very, very easy. Uh, David Peters finally picks one up again. As far as the... Hands won standings. Sean Winter at the top has won 19 hands. Joe Chong, 18. Foxen, 18. Mateos, 12. And Peters, 11. Do you guys think that Sean Winter is going to win, or do you think someone else is going to win? On winter versus the world. Adrian got 1.8. Yeah. <coughs> 1.7. And he's got ace king. Hi. Hi, excuse me. Can I order food, please? Uh, for the just the restaurant, I don't know the name. Eight. Eight. Oh, one point. No, the other one. No. Pretty crazy. Yeah. He wants salt and ivy, <laughs> but it's closed. Oh damn. Closed the two. Sorry, Wait. Adrian. Could we have gotten lemongrass also? Uh, lemongrass, I don't think opens till six. I love lemongrass. Lights are starting to get duck banana curry. Yeah, is I was phenomenal. Phenomenal. So we're kind of in that four-hour dark <laughs> window of like nothing. <laughs> Dumplings. Stuck That's with din tai fung, nothing which nothing is a really good thing to be yeah, stuck yeah, with. Yeah. I mean, I just ordered the fried rice. There you go. It's like what three o'clock? Got a carb load. You got a race? Uh, it's got to be around actually three, or not or until yeah, a month three. from now. You know what I'm actually? Why? You know why I ordered food? So d d I told Donnie that I'm going to Texas to Brazil tonight, which th I think the average caloric consumption by an adult human at that restaurant is probably in the high 3,000s. What I'm doing now is I'm pre-eating so that I don't go too crazy. Because if I show up too hungry, it's going to be a bloodbath. <laughs> That's one way to describe to go to a. <laughs> Highly dominant meat facility. Texas to Brazil is also like is like the uh, advanced version of a buffet. Like they come to yeah, your table. I mean it's the fancy version of a buffet. You know. Yeah. <coughs> Foxen makes it 750. Some quick folds around. I mean, Donnie, are we just waiting for <laughs> for big hands to clash at this point? Yeah, I mean the 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 dynamics of the, of these chip well, stacks. I, I mean, I think just lend itself to this type of play. I mean, Winter doesn't really want to get too involved. You know, nobody's too short that he can really apply the pressure that, that he would normally would with a chip lead this big. The other four players are just going to jockey accord, you know, accordingly. Wow. And don't miss the Global Poker Awards, Friday, March 3rd, the fourth annual Global Poker Awards celebrating the indus industry's best. And, of course, Donnie is going to have to pick up his award for the call of the year when Phil Hellmuth dove into that roast beef sandwich, I will. I still laugh every time I see that video. There has to be a special category for that. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's what gives, gets you your um, your um, uh, what's it called? Like the like the legacy award or whatever. The only thing I want is the podcast award. I don't care about any other award. <laughs> the only one I want is the podcast award. Alan. I mean, I wouldn't mind an award for that helmet call. Happened that was, I think we nailed it. That was fun. That was one hell of a day. That was a fun night. If you were with us that night, extra love to you. That was, that was incredible. Next giveaway is coming up real soon. All we need is a thousand total likes on the video. We're up to 875. Come on, guys and girls. Can we get up to? A thousand likes would be awesome. A free annual PokerGo subscription up for grabs if we hit it, or I should say when we hit it because I got I got some confidence. Like one point six. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> 
action on Fox and then the small number Jack 10 off. Stack still all very close behind the chip leader and he moves all in. Nothing for Mateos, he quickly tosses him. Camille, Camille says, I don't care about giveaways, you never pick me. Not with that attitude. Beautiful <laughs> answer. I want to see that flow. I didn't. <laughs> Marcus is asking, who do you guys think is the poker goat? That's a great question. Chat, I'm going to let you chime in as well. Who is the greatest of all time? Whatever your criteria are, that's fine. But the greatest of all time. Very interesting thing to discuss. Meanwhile, Adrian Mateos, who is, you know, in a way, if he continues to play for the rest of his life, going to be in contention for greatest of all time given his results. Oh, wow. Lots of responses right away. Chan, Doyle, Ivy, Tony G, Negranu, Garrett. <coughs> and we're going to see some post-flop action here as Winter defends his big blind. King, 10, 8 on the flop. Top pair for Mateos, but a pair and a flush draw and a straight draw for Sean Winter. Dead even here on the flop, Donnie. I mean, the stare from Mateos. You can just see the numbers running through his head. A little bit less than half pot. More like a third. Yeah, I, I know Winter has, you know, a really good hand on this flop pair and a flush draw, but I don't think he's going to get too crazy with it. Way funnier if you just moved all in right away when you said that. I mean, uh, that's usually what happens. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> of course, Sean. Winter. Of course, Sean Winter moves all in. Adrian Mateos, yeah, Mateos makes the call. Does call, and here we go. We got a dead on flip, oh, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Who do you want to win? Nine's a cool turn. Do you want Winter or Mateos? Let us know. Fifty. Fifty. Oh wow. All right, Chad. Let us know. Okay. You want Mateos or you want Winter? Not gonna lie, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't if Winter wins this hand, he's the chip leader yeah. after having been down to 175k, seven of hearts on the turn. Yeah, However, that will seal it for Adrian Mateos. All the way back up from 175k, and now he heads out the door. I've never ordered from here before. Really? Yeah. The Shaolong Bao is what they're known for, but it's not as good when it's like older. Yeah. Adrian Mateos like eliminated. Sean Winter extends uh, his chip lead up to six nice. million right now. Yeah, Forty-eight yeah, yeah, big yeah, blinds. I, I feel like they're really hard to eat, right? They just like explode when you bite them. Well, well, he's not gonna like by call. There's a look it. at Mateos they, exiting. Uh, These ones don't fall apart. Interesting. Yeah. Because I remember the first one I ever had. I just like. I guess I could like. Yeah. There's a couple restaurants that do the same thing. But oh wow. The music is being cranked up as we are down to the final four. David Peters is our short stack. Joseph Chung, Alex Foxen, and Sean Winter also still vying for the first title of the year at the Event 1 Pokego Cup final table. Started with 90 players. We are down to the final four. If you enjoy the coverage, please smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Lots of Mateos fans in the chat. Sorry to see you guys go. Please hang around. Also, the, the spicy one things are really good. Yeah, I'm just trying not to eat too much. Russell Simmons asking, is this live? No, we're not live. I feel like there's nothing on that entire menu without. I know. I mean, maybe the veggies, that's really about it. Green. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I could, like, get, like, fucking broccoli. <laughs> I just realized I didn't yeah. no, order I want, my like, favorite thing on the menu. Steak. What? I'm so, I just yeah. literally just realized it, and I'm so mad right now. I got, what did you get? I got the yeah, same. the uh, bok choy and the yeah, I know. green Javier's beans, like but I love that they have the cucumber like salad, which is like a little little spicy. Oh, it's so good! Damn. And I didn't order. I, I did you ever try their fried rice? 
No. I'm excited. I mean, it's, it's probably amazing. Probably. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Winter raising it up to a million. Applying that pressure on David Peters, who was hoping sure for like his hand to be a little better. Dumpling with chocolate inside. That does sound pretty good. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Get some extra. I'll steal some of your dumplings All right. if, we're, if we're near the same table over there. Joey, it's live. It we're say. live. You just ran over. Yeah. Don't listen to anyone that tells you we're not live. I don't know what menu that was that Fox was looking at, though. Looks like a few different papers. Signing a contract or something. <laughs> Yesterday, I think Foxen started off by ordering a burger from Salt and Ivy. Wow. And then a couple hours later, he fired up a ribeye, shrimp saute, and steamed rice from lemongrass. And I'm assuming he got something later on while they were playing until 1 a.m. So. You can hear uh, T.D. Paul Campbell giving the review of what to order for Mr. Foxen. That's right, Jimmy, you tell him. No spoilers. You're getting banned, baby. 28 likes away from 1,000 in Remco's second giveaway. Smash that like button, people. Get us there. Let's go. A little 700K pot here between Winter and Chong. Chong firing the turn. 125k. Jimmy Bluffett saying no spoilers, real or fake, which I think is a good thing to point out. People think they're funny by making up spoilers because you can't spoil it because this is on a delay and there's no other coverage available of this event unless you're actually standing in the room, which, I mean, that is technically <laughs> possible, but <laughs> impossible also. Because well, then you'll get banned in real life. Yeah, we'll ban <laughs> you from the whole room. Oh, we're about to hit 1,000. Meanwhile, almost a million in the middle here. Let's not forget about the poker action. Yeah. Chong checks with the check mark. However, is he going to get the showdown? Because Sean Winter has no way to win this hand except for to bluff at it. There's the bet. There's 1K likes on the video. And there's the fold from Chong. <coughs> wow. Everything is coming together at the same time here. That's right. Four-handed play continues. As the average stack is up to 22 big blinds again. <laughs> We got a thousand thumbs up. We'll give away a free annual subscription. Let me think for a minute here on 1.95. What the question is going to be? Peter's now seven big blinds. Brutal. Let's see if Winter just wants to put this in. Exactly. Exactly. Shoto NC says, "What's the deepest level attorney has gone forehanded?" I think we're you're watching it right now. I think this is the deepest we've gone four-handed. There you go. Winter using that stack, applying pressure. So painful. Gonna require these guys picking up a hand, and none of them do.
What's up, Otto? Thanks for joining us. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Foxen had over 5 million at one point, guys. <laughs> yeah, and then crazy. things went the other way. <laughs> I really thought Adrian Mateos was going to win this tournament. <laughs> I really thought he was going to go back from one big blind. Then uh, he ran into some tough opposition. Pocket 10s here. D Pete's. Is he going to do the committing raise? There it is. Hunter Fraley says, can I get a shout out? Love stream and the channel. No, you can't. <laughs> no shout outs. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Uh, nines versus tens. This is going to be a real clash, I especially with the stack sizes. Peters is the short stack. Fox is going to take a shot at knocking him out. Little does he know he is dominated by a bigger pair. All right. We'll do the giveaway question after this hand, as it looks as though. We're about to embark oh, uh -oh. on a big all-in. And Sean mm. Winter, ladies and gentlemen, he's uh, huh? Gay's gonna uh, give it he's up. He's gonna toss it, but it would have been fun to see a three-way clash. Oh, we're not all in yet, by the way. <laughs> we're still gonna no, see. No, Foxen just called. Peter says 375 behind. Eight. Four, six, that is about as good as it gets for pocket nines. Put it in, boys. Here we go. David Peters in a commanding position here to find himself back near the top of the counts. What a cooler here, four-handed. Oh, yes. Foxen knows it. Clubs or seven five. Yeah, there's definitely some running possibilities here as Kristen Foxen, Alex's way. wife, is on the rail. Nine seven. <laughs> I just want a club. Nine ten. Club the club. Wow, king of clubs. You just wanted one club. <laughs> <laughs> now he wants one more. Eleven outs for Foxen. He does a fine one. Peter's just going to find himself doubling up. <laughs> River card. Oh, my God, it is a club. That is brutal for David Peters. And all of a sudden, we are down to three-handed play. Just absolutely not the day for David Peters. Came in as the chip leader, and, I mean, I don't think anything went right for him today, Remco. Nothing. Un unbelievable. And Kristen Fox and Alex's wife showing up to the rail just as he rips off running clubs to send David Peters to the rail. Yeah, who, do, who does collect uh, Who does collect 90K for no, finishing did, in fourth place, left. but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tough beat there for David Peters. I could have done something cool there. All right, Shall let's keep the hype going in the I chat. Think. And he, he's out too, but I think I could have, I think it, it might have been what I should have done. I want to know, for a free annual subscription, know. What is your yeah, favorite hand? You have Include 10? the suits. No. Favorite poker ace. hand. Yeah, ace ten. Pocket tens here for Fox. Wow. A yeah. little bit of a heater. By the way, how nice, how nice are Joseph Chong and Sean Winter doing? I believe they were the two shortest how stacks oh yeah. for this final table. Uh, this is a million. Okay. Yeah, Sean Winter came in with like three hundred and sixty thousand. Joseph Chong had nine hundred thousand or so. I mean, at least Winter has experienced a big stack. I mean, Chong has never been a big stack this entire day. Ascendo. Ascendo. To the Muno. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got lots of cards being sent into the chat. If you're just tuning in, let us know in the chat what's your favorite poker hands. Suits included. I'll pick a random, I'll pick a random person to win a free annual subscription. Let's go, let's go, let's go. you're new to the PGT, please know that we have eight events streaming live. We're going to do one-hour previews of these events starting tomorrow. And then you can watch the full final tables on PokerGo.com as we take a look at the early standings of the race for the Cup.
keep those submissions going for your favorite hand. And by the way, please smash the like button if you haven't already. We're going to take it home here, see it through until we get to a winner as winter raises with ace twos off. Fox and fighting back. Nice spot there for Fox and good recognition. I'm so happy you made it this far. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I just <laughs> constantly laughing every time. It's true. Oh, it's like delivery, baby. With me, I didn't sleep. Lunchtime. What is I'm this? This doesn't look like food. I'm with you. Hmm? I'm bearing with you. Happily. Fox in the small blind. King do suited. I'm not sure if I had 20 big blinds yet this whole final table. I don't think I had 20 big blinds until <laughs> That's true. this level. <laughs> I bought in with 20. <laughs> Wasn't really going well. The 20 BB specialist. She have three? A bit more. Three, five, I think. Three, five, seven, five behind. Seven, three, five. All diamonds on the flop. Winter flops top pair. They're just gonna play heads up, and Joseph Chong is just gonna you know, <laughs> sit sit and watch. He's gonna walk away from the table. Hopefully, they don't figure it out. Deuce on the turn gives Fox and a pair as well. Little Jay says, where did Peters go? Peters out. Running clubs for Alex Fox and sending him to the rail. Ten for tens versus nines. Bad beat for David Peters. After this hand concludes, I will announce the winner of the annual subscription. is the bet from winter. Every single chip matters at this stage of the tournament. Fox are not going to give up so easily. That's right, you can't bluff him, baby. <laughs> Fox and hoping to get the showdown. Winter hoping to make some more money. Top pair, of course, incredibly strong, playing three-handed in an unraised pot. Fire again. Fox is probably realizing that there is a certain amount of BS involved in Winter's range, but also he's got to give him some credit. And there's not a whole lot he can beat. PGT.com has live reporting available of event number two. Jeremy Osmus and Daniel Legrano in the mix there.
Next player eliminated from this event will get $108,000. 153 for second and 216 for first. Foxen does lay it down and Schoenlinger picks up the pot, extends his chip lead. Nice hand for Winter. Big Good fold, fold from Foxen. <laughs> Chance Corneth on Twitter. Poker players should never throw away an old bag without checking every single pocket. Just, you know, $8,000 in chips in there. No big deal. Sick brag. Can just lose 8,000, not know where it is. That's seven. Okay. What's it like? If I misplaced $8,000. Good God. I don't even have 8000 to misplace. <laughs> if $8,000 went missing, that means that <laughs> I got robbed of all, of all that I have. Must be nice. Little J35. Buying for this one was 10K. Cody CO1. 90 entries in this tournament. 750. I got a winner. You got a winner? I got a winner. Okay. Winner of the annual subscription to Poker Go, Alexander Hockstrom. Ascendo. Ascendo. Alexander Hockstrom, congratulations. You win a free year of Poker Wait, Go. So who gets who won if who wins? I guess. Please you. email I social if I win, at pokergo.com I don't win. So yeah. With a screenshot don't of you walking yeah. <laughs> yeah. to your YouTube account. No. Fox and wins, no one gets anything. No wine for He's buying wine for. Oh, you, you are? I, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll jump in. The, okay. The party. <laughs> You gotta buy the wine. Gives me Come a on. way better chance of winning if I agree. Yeah. Can't be that guy. Yeah. How many hands are we playing? Uh, this this is, is it. Two, two more hands before another short break. Gives you guys all two point five. KT Johnson, yes, you can get a discount. Yeah. PG Cup 23. When you sign up for an annual subscription, just head on over to pokergo.com. Or you can head on over to get.pokergo.com. That promo code PG Cup 23 will get you $20 off your first year of an annual sub. There are also monthly and quarterly Dan. plans available. You can be like Anthony and call and then claim you didn't see me. I, I hear you, Chris, work, man. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, that'd be a tough one. Though. Oh, Poker Stars is rigged. Oh, Poker yeah. Go is rigged. I mean, it's just all rigged. All right, we're going to head on over to our next break of the day. Don't go anywhere, though. We've got more action still to come as Sean Winter, Alex Foxen, and Joseph Chung are battling for the first title of 2023. Stay with us. We're going to have coverage until there is a winner crowned here from the Poker Go studio in Las Vegas. We'll see you in just a few minutes. Sponsor of the Poker Go Cup. <clears throat> I wasn't looking, I was looking at a stack. Queen Eight of Diamonds for That's Peters one. in the cutoff. I saw one of his cards last hand. Pretty flop. Pretty sweater. Oh, Winter's out there trying to catch a little peek, <laughs> huh? Where are those on. aviators? H Jack suited on the button, no, yeah. all of it. <laughs> this is for nine really bigs. Really. Oh. 550. Does Peters have enough of a hand, Queen Eight suited, to call? I, I, I don't think so, Jeff, but. I think a little. He's got fold equity, this Joe Chong, with those nine bigs over top of an open. Peters knows that Chong is never light. It's never a hand like Queen.
queen seven suited, right, that we're way ahead of, or even seven eight suited. We're, it's never that. He does call, he just hopes he's live. Does call, will be live, up against the ace jack suited. And here we go, Joseph Chong all in and at risk, could get back to more than 20 bigs if the ace jack suited holds up against Peter's queen eight of diamonds. versus Chong. Ace, king, at nine with no diamonds. A pretty good start to the festivities for Joseph Chong. Well, that's the flop you're thinking of. 97% favorite. The turn is the jack. Well. The gut shot does pop up for Peters. You see the ounce on the top of your screen. D. Peters will need a 10 to eliminate Joe Chong. Does not find one on the river. Chong is up to more than 1.2 million in chips. Yeah, that was huge for Chong. Peter's not necessarily a dagger. He goes from 40 bigs to about 30 bigs. In your worst case scenario, it's this, and you're still second in chips. And you're David Peters. You and just don't David lose Peters. all ends. You know, that never happens. You have like 2.1 acres? 2.2 on me. Warp the Turk in the big blind waiting has 14 bigs. Mateos, A6 off from the small blind. Is it enough to grip and rip? There it is. Yes, sir. Warp in. Not interested. As most of the others. Maybe this is the year where we do see a lot more of the conquistadors. That'd be great. The news came out earlier about the PGT, that championship event in December will now be doubling the prize pool. Last year it was $500,000. Jason Kuhn <laughs> took home the title. This year, how about a million? How about a million? A million dollar free roll to the top 40 on the 2023 PGT. Pokergo will also award 10 dreams. 3.5. A few dream seats. TBD dream seats. TBD dream seats. <coughs> Most of it. Oh, what is it? Did he do that? What did he do? Yeah. <laughs> He's I'm Sean Winter. Version. You gave one already. I threw it in. Yep. Seven seven five. Yeah. Which what? Wait, just seven. Seven seven five. Seven yeah. seven five. Yeah. yeah. The eight twenty minus forty five. Foxen with King 10 off, uh, obviously giving this some thought. As the chip leader, Winter only has 11 big blinds. We'll let it go. <coughs> you know my top three predictions for player of the year? Who? Well, I sh two of the top three okay. are at this final table. Foxen mm. and Sean Winter. Now, I will tell you this. I made those predictions prior to mm. knowing that this guy with the ace king, David Peters, was going to be putting in a full slate. 
So now would you put him in your, you know, top three predictions if you could redo that? I'm going to have to reevaluate. I have Daniel Negreanu okay. in my top three, knowing that he's playing everything under the sun, PGT related. Ace King off for Peters, 30 bigs in the small all blind, all of it. That'll just get through for Peters. Chong with eights on the button. Owen? All of it. One million fifty. Gives the account and everything. And wins. Foxen, by the way, talked a little bit about what he Dude, I I was playing this guy heads up one time. And I nine bet all in heads up uh, <laughs> with Jack Dews off. You were 11, right? No, I was like 19. <laughs> Got a little better Did here, he fold? Too. No, he called with aces. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of aces, and Chong oh. has eights. I mean, how does he have aces after telling that story mid-stride? <laughs> and he was talking to Chong, who now has eights and in a horrible spot. What? Wow. Whoa. That's strong. But Orphan has jacks. What's the most bets he's ever gotten? As a bluff. <coughs> I don't know, back in the day I used to have like a 30% re bet. And I just like would like in three bet every like every time. I, did, I never flatted a number. So I made it like two point Trouble three, brewing so. for Orpin Kisachakolu. Oh, so the all in, the call. Problems. Here we go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Orpin with jacks, winter no with aces. <laughs> Talk at eight. Probably, probably still sixes. Six and seven. Six and seven. Chong <laughs> thrilled at the moment. Finley's the only one where I saw seven best gloves. Massive yeah, cooler yeah. for Orp. Yeah, Looking to connect with a jack to stick speed. around. You want to waste your suck out in the yeah. smallest tournament you've ever played? <laughs> and it got uh, and I like beat aces. Is that really what you <laughs> want to do? <laughs> I don't mind. They always have aces. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, That's get, not what you want to do. You get the five bet. But I, you get cooler than the 250. <laughs> no, that was final table is the final table. <laughs> yeah. Not too surprising. They all it's going. 10 5 back to our straight draws oh, are there for you. Orpin. <laughs> but for now, needs yeah, a jack. I do. Oh, it's gotta be there. Does right? not see it on the turn. He'll need it on the river. His day is done. The river's an eight, oh, and that will do it for Orpin. Yeah. Out in yeah, six, like $54,000, 54 points That's on the nice board here at the cup. You called me, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Ocho, Ocho? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I had a million. You weren't uh, scary. Seven, seven fifty. Uh, four played event nine, one. I have to no, imagine he's here for the entire yeah. series. We're going to see That's more of Orp the Turk out there on the PGT. You're talking about the 1%. The best players on the planet. It's going to be number two, I think. Competing throughout the calendar year. Are you going to call my three bet? Maybe. God. The number two. Mateos, King Jack, off 25 bigs. Here. Do it. Number 
Mateos takes no time whatsoever there to call. King Jack off. Over there. I'm ready to see a flop with this hand. <laughs> Perhaps a bit weary going in. Joseph Chung's shortest stack. Prevents him from being too aggressive. Checks here on the five deuce deuce. Hmm? Yeah. I lost ace king versus queens of Adrian for like to like have runaway chip lead. Now still like light chip lead. I believe you said a Are little you? weary. Yes. Said I think right you word. meant wary. Oh. So what do you got? As the expert that I am with oh. big grammar Plenty. and vocabulary. Word definitions. Back with final table coverage of event number one, Sean Winter, Alex Foxen, and Joseph Chung battling for the first title of 2023. My name is Ramp Rinkema, Donnie Peters alongside me. Thanks everyone for being with us here on the free YouTube stream. Jeff Platt and Brent Hanks are on the call on the bookgo.com main station. We'll be here with you until we get to a winner. Sean Winter is our overwhelming chip leader and he started today as the short stack and I believe Mr. Joseph Chong was the second shortest player coming into the final table and he is now still in the hunt. However, he is down to just four big blinds. Alex Fox is sitting on 19 big blinds. Sean Winter has 50. Winter coming off a good year in 2022, 3.5 million in earnings. Here's a look at the rest of the table as Alex Fox sips on a day one. Oh, he's drink. got the day one? He got the day there one. There you drink go. go. There you go. Great stuff. Ascendo. To the moon. I feel like if Alex Foxen likes it, then it's How it's much? good stuff. Six fifty. Yeah, I mean, I call. I don't know. If it's butterfly. I was just. I was Are you a queen? Oh, okay. I was in some other world. <laughs> I was trying to. I don't know. Maybe we chop. I'll take probably. a chop. Yeah, probably. Chong all in with okay, queen six versus queen four. Spades. I'm getting chopping or losing. <laughs> it's your turn. It's your turn to flop spades. Can't think positively, <laughs> Joseph. Come on, man. I did. I folded two spades. I fold. I, I flopped. <laughs> but I also folded a four. I flopped a flush first. You last time. It's your turn. Here comes the flop. King Nobody's ten turn. eight. We're chopping. Lots probably of chop outs. Six of diamonds. Ace Can we not on the turn? Unless you hit a six. How about a four? Yeah, four diamonds is, is what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, I had the four spades. So there are a five. few non-chop outs. Oh, wow. Six on the river is oh, one of them. Oh. And Joseph Jong doubles up. Wow, <laughs> that came out of nowhere, Donnie. Like that did come out of nowhere. I'll click for sure where you're getting a chop there. Poker gods had something I, I else in know. mind. It felt like a chop, to be honest. I thought I was losing, so I'm happy. Little bio board there for Joseph Chong, courtesy of GPI slash the Hendem Up. Winter, oh yeah. Ace King, the mother of all drawing hands. Don't touch my green beans. <laughs> A little limp here from Mr. Winter. Here's a Chong checks on the big blind. Queen Jack eight puts Chong in the lead with a pair of eights. Little J, yes, we play poker. Poorly. Mike Byrne says commentators are poker. There That's right. <laughs> that is true. <coughs> Wow. We've seen so many comebacks at this final table, and Chong, you know, even though we're not at showdown yet, has once again made the best hand and could be looking at some more chips to get co closer to Alex Foxen.
375k is the bet from Sean Winter. Still has plenty of outs here versus the pair of eights of Chong and also the benefit of being able to apply a lot of pressure. However, <coughs> since Chong is the short stack, Winter will have to be a little more careful. Chong does make the call. We're going to see a river card. If you're just tuning in, we are coming at you live from Las Vegas, Boca Go Studio. If you're in town, please swing on by. We've got the big screen going in the bar here at the Boca <coughs> Go Studio. Get a drink, watch the game, run, it, run into some of your favorite pros. Oh, we go I check, check. That is a huge one for Chong, Donnie, to all of a sudden pick up the double you know, up I'm and then the wine thing too. an extra 500. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking misclicked, man. Misclicked when? The turn. You meant to check and you clicked the bet button? <laughs> <laughs> Tough misclick. <laughs> yeah, I don't really understand where he misclicked. Yeah, <laughs> maybe he didn't bet enough. Bet, the, bet the, a different amount than what he should have, yeah. Yeah. One of those is his. Uh, fuck. What is that hat that Alex Fox is wearing? It's, it's a, I know it's a Tampa uh, hat, point but it has like oh a ray. 1.8? has the Buccaneer thing, has a football guy, I don't know. Oh, it's like all, all the <laughs> Tampa teams. All the teams? <laughs> and they use the, the Charlotte Hornets colors? <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> that makes sense. I thought it was a Charlotte Hornets hat. I'm going to look it up. Oh, red. I think you have two million. Is he from Florida? <coughs> I don't think so. He likes the hat. What is your opinion on that? Wearing a hat of a of a team or a place that you're not from or don't support? Like just from a fashion, like wearing it just for fashion sense only. I, mean, I don't think I would do it. Fox, by the way, goes all in, picks it up briefly. Had two million for one hand. Yeah. I would have to have like some sort of connection, I feel like. Oh, good. It's a good number to get to. Yeah. Next goal is 20 big blinds. I know it's a Tampa hat, though, because the side of it says Tampa. I saw that yesterday. $216,000 up for grabs, along with 216 points for the cup. <coughs> Players will accumulate points in every single one of these events for finishing in the money. The player with the most points at the end of the show, after eight events, we'll will receive the 1.9 very large and heavy Pokémon Cup. Jeremy Osmus is the defending champion. Jeremy uh, Daniel Legrand won the first edition of the Pokémon Cup. Action folds to Foxen in the small blind, King 450, five off. And you have 3.1. Techno beats. Let's go. Fired up. Here's a look at Alex Foxen's five years to remember. The last five years have been bananas for Alex Foxen. Of course, 2020 did not see any live action, but 6.6, 6.3, 1.9, a little down year, 2.8, and now he's back up to 7 million, the biggest year of his career, up to 27 million in total career tournament earnings. Absolutely unbelievable how successful Foxen has been. If you're in the chat, let us know where you're watching from. Appreciate it. If you've been watching since the start, give give me a shout. It's been it's been a fun hangout today. We've been really enjoying the coverage. Kevin McLean saying, "I wonder what his buy-ins were." Well, they were high, but I'm uh, gonna go out on a limb here and say that he probably made a lot of money. They didn't leave me a big blind back. Winter moves all in on Chong. Chong makes the call with King Jack off. We got Ace Four suited. The suited ace wheel card, always a favorite with the GTO players. Chong at I risk. I feel like you deserve it after I, I misclick. I think I'm winning this one. I, I, had after five, I, I had a five and two diamonds. I, after I misclick, I think you deserve to win and this fucking tournament. <laughs> I 
I had a, something that's for everyone, actually. Mostly bad for sure. You had something that was good for everyone? I had cards that everyone would want. Here comes the flop. Three, Jack, Deuce. You had a five, okay. I had a five, I had a ten, and I had two diamonds. Chong takes the lead with a pair of jacks. Winter still has outs. Five of clubs would be fun. Could hit a wheel or hit an ace. The ace live. Running fours, also possible. As far as I know. We haven't seen many aces come when uh, there's all in. Turn card, ace. He called it. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Club, though. How Club draw for Chong. He literally always calls it. <laughs> 13 outs for Joseph Chong. Deuce. Boxing cool with that? I'll accept. Deuce of clubs? No king. Miss, no miss deal. In clubs, it's the king. River card. Six of hearts. And that'll do All it. Right, man. Joseph like Chong eliminated in third place. <laughs> Good game. And we are heads so up guys. between Sean Joe, Winter right? and Alex Foxen. <laughs> yeah, Sean. Yeah. 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 Nice <laughs> to meet you, man. <laughs> 108k for right, Joseph Chong to take home. I apologize. Though. Which he will probably invest at least some of it into event number two. Probably will mean. And Donnie, we thought we were going to be here all he night, <laughs> but all of a sudden <laughs> yeah. we're down to heads up play. All of a sudden, here we are. The guy who started the day as the Sorry, shortest stack, Sean Winter. And Mr. Alex Fox, who came in second in chips. Two legends of the game squaring off for the title. Here are the final table chip counts presented by Hair Club. 7.9 million for Sean Winter, 3.3 million for Alex Fox. We got a real heads up battle on our hands. Let us know in the chat, who are you rooting for? And do you think Alex Fox can make a comeback here versus Sean Winter? Who, by the way, started the final table as the short stack. Well, this sounds like Foo Fighters almost. Is anyone else getting Foo Fighters vibes from this? I am. I'm just feeling Dave Grohl right now. Foxen all the way. Winter's got this. Winter's winter for the win. Eh, we're about even. We're about 50-50 in the chat. Jason Parker says, one more giveaway, please. <sighs> Tough. Asking for a lot. Well, you know what? We'll do one in the first 10 minutes tomorrow. So show up early tomorrow. We'll do a giveaway in the first 10 minutes tomorrow. Doesn't mean that you can stop liking the video, but <laughs> first 10 minutes tomorrow. By the way, tomorrow we're streaming also event two final table. You can follow the live reporting on PGT.com. That way you're in the know in case your favorite player makes the final table. Streaming live at 1 p.m. Pacific time, 4 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. Central European time. We've got an interesting hand developing here right off the bat. Winter flops a pair of nines here. Foxen. After Foxen called before the flop. See, people in the chat think that I don't pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> they all ask what time something is coming. I already said it. It, had, hasn't, it hadn't been delivered yet through the airwaves. Ronnie Hot Dog says, sounds like learn to fly Foo Fighters. Exactly, that's what I thought. By the way, let's get this video to 1,500 likes. That'd be sweet. And 900K in the middle. Foxen looks like he's going to fire, but that is bad timing because Winter has just made trips after the flop and turn both went check, check. Winter just catching the perfect run out. time extension here before probably raising, of course. Okay. 
Duncan here, Dan on the ground. It's Cackle Laugh in the background. He's still doing well in event number two as Sean Winter slides forward a massive pile. 2.9. <coughs> if Foxen had a 10 here, this would be an insane spot, but he just has King High. Oh, he has a pair of threes. Donnie's pointing at the screen. A uh, pair of threes, King High. Same thing, right? How different can that really be? I don't acknowledge a pair of three. <laughs> it's below my threshold. I'm just testing the chat to see if they're paying attention. Hawks, I'm really giving this some serious thought. Action when check check on both flop and turn. Second timing. Alex Foxen just never wants to get bluffed. Ever. <laughs> no. Tom Cruise here putting on his best acting face. Wow, Winter or Foxen is burning through all his time banks. That looks like his last one. Is he just gonna call it off here? Donnie, help me out here. <laughs> yeah, I, at this point, I just don't know. I mean, he only has the three of diamonds, which, I mean, it's a blocker to Winter having diamonds, but there's still plenty of diamonds in Winter's range that missed. You know, Queen Jack certainly a possibility, Jack 8, 7, 8. All of which Foxen has none of, so. <laughs> <laughs> he tried get, those, get those other ones off the table there. <laughs> tried using one of Joseph Chung's time extension chips, still left at the table. Foxen gives Winter a smile, who doesn't give away a thing. Hmm. Is it a Game of Thrones hat? I don't, I don't know, know what I, either of their hats I are. I don't even know what any of this stuff is, but I do know that High Stakes Poker is coming back. Eric Person, Antonio Scandiari, and Daniel Negreanu among those playing on the poker's premier high-stakes cash game show. Use promo code WATCHHSP10 for $20 off your annual subscription. That's premiering on January 24th. we got weekly episodes coming out. Man, they're speeding in the background, Donnie. <laughs> they're getting ready for F1. Wow. Looks <laughs> like a racetrack. Both of these players finishing 1-2, whatever the result ends up being, um, just really does make them super strong contenders, contenders for the, the overall Poker Girl Cup leader or winner. Um, you know, they're going to play everything from start to finish on this series, and getting a, a big result like this early on is obviously extremely important for going on to be able to to win that leaderboard. Or you, you can do what Jason Kuhn will do. Oh, yeah, you can just show up and win the 50K. Show for the final two event events, get a min cash, and then win the 50K. Of course, more points up for grabs in the 50K. Ace-8-6 rolls off the deck. Fox with the open-ended straight draw, nine high in the lead versus five deuce. Kyle Anderson is asking, what is first and how many cashed? We have 13 players in the money, 90 entries. First prize is $216,000. See Rampage Poker there in the background, grinding. Lucky Chewy right next to him. Yeah, see uh, Shannon Shore back there, Kristen Foxen back there. Rampage <coughs> said, told us yesterday he's going to play all the 10Ks and the 15Ks. Heard he played the satellite last night and put five bullets in it. Oh, my God. <laughs> How many seats did we award last night? Two last night. 
two. Yeah. Half of them brought to you by <laughs> Rampage Poker. Yeah, exactly. Wow. That's painful. So Rampage today is playing a 15K. Everyone else <laughs> is playing a 10K. Oh, man. <laughs> Poker is fun for everyone. Winter here swinging. Fox and got nothing. So on the last hand, we saw Winter betting big with the goods. This time he doesn't have it, and he bets big again. Keeps Fox on his toes. I think these first uh, couple of hands here of heads up play have really shown the versatility of Sean Winter. I mean, he played kind of one style, the style that you need to play when, you know, you're playing multi-way at a final table with, you know, four, five, six, seven players. You know, might have played, some people might say too tight in some spots. You know, we saw him fold that king queen off one time. Oh, here we go. Wow. I got the chong. All in and a call. <laughs> King Jack off home. for Sean Winter. Alex Fox in that risk with 8-7 of hearts. It's a beautiful hand, but he's in a lot of trouble here. <coughs> Basically a coin flip, 60-40. I'm sure Foxen is happy to see One he's not five, up against five. an overpair. Or even a hand like ace-8. Very live here for Alex Foxen. Me, can you give me 100Ks, though? Cause Don't you really? want to hop in this thing? We'll get in there eventually. I'm not. <laughs> oh, you're not. Oh, that you're the perfect person to get heads up with then for points. Oh yeah, true. Here comes King six four. Okay. Winter with a commanding lead. I'm gonna, Fox I mean, I'm still with outs. Play other events. Yeah, I know, but you'll still. A five would give Fox in the Less straight and a lead. lock on the hand. Turn card seven gives him a lot more outs. Card. Five, seven, or an eight will now be enough for him to double up. Winter still, however, 80% to close it out here and win event number one of the 2023 PokeGo Cup. Can he fade the outs? He cannot. Running sevens. Alex Fox in his back. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a match. Wow. Running cards for the double up. And Alex Foxen rakes him in, is up to 3.3 million. With a uh, seven, nice seven, little seven. chug of the day one. It's always coming seven. Seven! Keep mm -hmm. Barcelona way back in the day. I was there. Never forget it. All right, heads up play continues between Sean Winter and Alex Foxen. Here's a look at the standings presented by Hair Club. 53 versus 21 big lines. Lots of Fox and fans in the chat. We were one card away, this thing being done. And Sean Winter just continues by picking up Ace King offsuit. Before that hand happened, I was saying, you know, Sean Winter played kind of one style, and now he's turning it up, which you have to do in heads up play that, you know, not every player can transition from playing in a multi-way game to, to play in the correct strategy for heads up, but just goes to show uh, the experience and the versatility that uh, Sean Winter has. He's obviously been heads up many times, and this is one of the reasons why he's one of the best players in the world. <coughs> Winter limped the button with the ace king, and Foxen came in with the raise at the seven four of hearts. 3x the big blind. We're just going to put this in. There we go. Wow. Foxen quickly folds. And he's just back to his winning ways, chipping away. These guys, of course, have played hundreds of hours with each other at the same table. But I wonder if they've ever played heads up in a tournament before. Eric, Eric Denny, if you're listening. Eric Denny, I, I'm going to look it up. We need expanded, expanded hand and mob stats pages. I'm going to say. On head to heads. I'm going to say yes. Oh, yeah. I would. Yeah, I think yes is a favorite. Nice 
nine five versus ten nine. Limp pot. Donnie's doing some painstaking research. That's right, I am. Ten eight five on the flop. Winter with top pair. Fox and with bottom pair, but his nine's no good to make two pair because Winter has a nine as well. And lays it down, and Winter again chips up. Fox and getting closer and closer to all in shove mode. For those that are tuning in, we are live on a 30 minute delay. Sean Winter here. <coughs> let, look at his bio 29th in Poker's all time money list. And the way he's going, he's going to approach the top 10 not too long after this. First season of the PGT 2021, Fox and beat Winter in an Aria High Roller. Wow, there you go. There was also a Win High Roller where they were, uh, I think it was Fox and first, Winter third. Well, right now, Winter has the upper hand, about 9 million to 2.5 million. This is tricky for Fox and as well, top pair for Winter. Middle pair for Foxen. Wow. Second king on the board here, which is going to give Foxen a lot more confidence in his 10 being good. This could really make. Sean Winter a whole lot more money. <coughs> 450 is the bet from Foxen, who must think, Donnie, that he is betting with the best of it here. Yeah, I mean, it's hard, it's hard to have a king and make trips. I mean, it's also hard to make flushes, so especially in heads of play. I think Fox in here is going for value. River card. Queen of diamonds. Fox is not the best card for Fox in to see. He's got less than pot size left. be a tough spot for Foxen. Whatever he decides to do. I mean, if you bet here, likely going to bet it all on what's worse that calls you. On the flip side, if you check and Winter puts it in, I mean, <laughs> that's not the best the spot check. to be in either. Foxen checks the Winter, who... I think he timed out. Uh, Foxen did. And oh. No time extension, so it's just a check over to Winter. I mean, Winter's going to shove a reasonable amount of time here. And I really wonder how Fox is going to perceive that if he were to shove, given given the you know, stack-to-pot ratio that Foxen has. All in. There we go, all in. 
Alex Foxen deciding for his tournament life with the pair of 10s, which is much better than the ace high he had against Mateos. <laughs> but this situation is a little bit different. I mean, on the turn, Winter could be calling hands like, you know, just the naked ace of clubs in his hand and turn that oh, into Oh, he luck. makes the call. call. And it is all King. over. Sean Winter tables trips. Alex Foxen shows the loser. Good game. And Sean Winter wins event one of the 2023 Poker Go Cup. Wow. What a final table. Just don't run away with it, all right? Just <laughs> keep me in contention. Try not to. Sean Winter collecting $216,000. For his victory, Alex Foxen, runner-up, collects $153,000 and is so. probably I, I really straight into tire, but I think event it, number two. I think so. Good game. Sean Winter, overjoyed, over the moon, <laughs> cartwheels, <laughs> backflips. It's all business for these guys. Here's a look at the final results of event one of the 2023 Poker Go Cup. Sean Winter winning it for 216K. We had 90 entries, 13 cashed. Stay tuned for much more because we are going to keep going. Event number two streaming live tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific time, 4 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. Central European time. And catch the live recording of event number two right now with Daniel Legranu live on PGT.com. There he is hoisting the trophy. Sean Winter collects another one because this guy has been there before and he will be back again for more later in this Poker Go Cup 2023 edition. His 17 live tournament win and I wouldn't be surprised if he adds another one. My name is Rem Karinkama, Donnie Peters alongside me. Thanks all so much for watching. We really appreciate it and we'll catch you guys on the next one.